now. Yeah, I'm trying to find oh I see. Christ, I have like no hit points right now. <laughs> uh, I think you almost died. I think you were more well, than owl bear. came close, but we still had your uh, relentless endurance. We had uh, healing spells we could have used. Yeah. And we're about to leave travel, so it's going to be a day's rest. So. Okay. okay. Okay, so first things first, let me just recap for everybody who was gone. Um, <clears throat> four of you guys took off. Um, well, all of you guys went back to town. You discovered that the Red Brands had uh, fled the city while you were uh, busy taking a rest and uh, abducting glass staff. Um, so when you came back to the town square, there was uh, chaos and pandemonium because they had left the city uh, and they left it defenseless. And there were reports of orcs uh, massing in the east along with a horde of undead at the old owl well. So the party decided to go and uh, confront the orcs. They managed to find uh, the cave in Wyvern Tor. And they killed all the orcs and uh, the ogre that was there with them, and also their pet owl. Whoa. No. We lo just lost Josh. Hello? I think Josh just cut out for me. Yep. Yeah, he cut out for me too. Alright. That was so weird. Maybe. Uh, can you guys hear me? Now we can hear you. Yeah, now I now we can, but you got cut off. That's weird. Where, at what point did I get cut off? Uh. Hmm. Shit. Yeah. You, uh, <laughs> oh, yeah, it, it says that Chris muted me. <laughs> oh. Uh. <laughs> um, you should mute me in in Roll Twenty. Don't don't mute me in Google Chat because I think it mutes me for everybody. Yeah. Might be why. Uh, so where were we? Uh, you had Tildor spoke. They killed all the orcs, I guess. Um, um, okay, yeah. Okay. All right. So they killed all the orcs. They killed uh, and the ogre that was uh, with them, and uh, their pet owl bear. Uh, but they didn't find out why the orcs were there because they killed them all without asking. Yeah, I was good. I was just gonna ask, like, if they, were, they took any prisoners to. Yeah, unfortunately, you don't know anything. Uh, so uh, they're all in the caves. Uh, Sapira awesome. had stayed behind to defend the city. Uh, but you can assume at this point that she's caught up with the rest of the party. And um, so you guys have just finished your battle in the cave um, at Wyvern Tor. And um, you still have a quest to go and uh, see what's going on at the old owl well uh, with the undead. And then you also had a quest from the town's luck shrine uh, priestess to go to Coneyberry and find out the location of a spell book from um, a banshee living there. So, uh, what would you guys? Do? Oh, and sorry, a couple of housekeeping things too. Everybody should be level three now. Um, yep. Safira has a couple of items which you did not identify. Okay. Do you want me to tell you what they are, or do you want me to send it to you privately? Uh, send it privately, please. <laughs> All right. Uh, give me one second to look up. Yep. Take schools, your time. Because I wasn't sure. Exactly, and then let me whisper the rest of these to you. And uh, Nevin, you might want to unmute your mic in uh, Google Chat. Um, okay, so I guess I had my muted too. Can you guys hear me it. now? Yeah. Yes. yes. Yeah. Okay. Hey, so I got this master sword in my inventory now. What's the deal with that? Um, oh yes. Um, um, so they you, also uh, found a, a sword at the bottom of the Nothic. Um, at the bottom of the Nothic uh, crevasse in a cave. Um, so that's a plus one sword. So they gave it to you, even though I think your character preferred to less the magic axe. Even though what? Your character has his axe. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, well, it, it could be useful. Uh, what kind of sword is it? Plus one. Long sword. Yeah. So you were like the only one who's really like, proficient with it. Right, right. Because like, I could use it in theory, but like. Not as a monk weapon, not with any bonuses. Yeah. yeah well, so if could. we, yeah, it could be useful if we run into something that needs magical weapons, I guess. Yep. What's the damage on longsword? 1d8, right? Yeah. Uh, if it's one handed, d8, two handed, d10, but plus okay. one. Gotcha. Josh, just out of curiosity, can you hear me any better? Um, I can hear you. It's a little bit soft, but it, it works. Oh, wow. 
Okay, on on a crit damage, does a magical uh, thing apply? I don't is know. It, is I it one d eight plus one again, or is it just one d eight? I don't know. I would think it applies, but I'm not really sure. Yeah, because that's like the it's natural. Yeah, it's as part of the damage. Wait, what was the question? Uh, uh, I was just wondering if the uh, magical bonus applies to the crit damage also. No, it's a modifier. Um, when you do crit, you re-roll uh, all your dice, and then you add modifiers at the end. Oh, OK. OK, so um, that should bring us up to speed. I whispered um, Sabira all of her items. So um, let me grab a token for you, and uh, what do you guys want to do? I believe we were going to continue on to the uh, old Dao Wo, were we not? Hey, Josh, sorry, just real quick. I think I found, is this any better on the microphone? Yeah, it's yes. better. OK, great. Yeah. Or uh, did we take our full rest yet? Uh, you did not. Uh, Grand is still in trouble. Right? This is another one day. Well, is uh, is uh, town on the way to this owl well or whatever? No, we're like one day from owl well. It's like we're way outside of town. Oh, okay. um, we just cleared out this cave. It's like yeah. evening. Actually, yeah. if we cleared it out, we could just stay here. That's and... what I'm saying. Like rest here for eight hours, um, yeah. and then there's another day travel till we get to old owl well. Yeah. Okay. Makes sense. And that would give uh, Grendel a chance to heal up. Yeah. Yeah. So just for you guys who aren't here, or who weren't here, um, so if you look on the map, um, the old where you are right now is, if you look at the word Old Owlwell on the right, you're right underneath the O in Old um, okay. at Wyvern Tor. So the Old Owlwell is about another day's journey to nice. the east. And then the village of Coneyberry, the ruins of Coneyberry, is uh, to the north of that about another day. Josh, just just so I can clear, sorry, I was I was messing with my sound settings, so I apologize. I didn't get all the background. Just for my old owl well, that's where the undead are amassing. Coney yes. Berry's where the banshee is, right? That's right. Yeah. And then where is um there's some dwarven prisoner we're trying to get back, right? Is it You're um, trying to get um Gundren yeah. Rockseeker. Yeah. Where is he? He is held at Cragmaw Castle, and you don't know where Cragmaw Castle is. Uh, but farmer Alderleaf had suggested that uh Radoth the Druid in Thunder Tree, um, would might know the whereabouts of the castle. And Thunder Tree is marked on your map yeah, uh, that's by the way, Neverwinter River. Yeah. Oh, that's way up and, there. And the Cragmaw is supposed to be somewhere up in these uh, trees, though. Somewhere in the woods, yeah. Yeah, somewhere in the woods. So our plan what? is to hit Old Elwell, then Coney Berry, and then kind of track Thunder back, get whatever yeah. quest rewards we get, and then hit Thunder well, Tree. What is this Dread Ring? We could, we could visit that on the way to Thunder Tree. It's a ruins. OK. Well, ruins could be cool. <laughs> but so it's just a side detour to check yeah, out. It could also be like a level of like. Hey, we could, we could do a we could do a sightseeing, you know, like around the whole area over here. Uh, uh, although I guess we should really find out where uh, Gundren Rocksicker is because he's been <laughs> missing for like weeks now, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah like two weeks. <laughs> <laughs> I, I guess he could wait another week now. Whatever. <laughs> yeah, at this point he's either already dead or he's fine. So. Yeah. Um, All right, so we're resting here, right? Okay. So go ahead and take your uh, long rest actions. Awesome. Uh, so how many hit die do I get back for that? Uh, half of your total. Okay. And I get all my uh, hit points back, right? No. At the end of a long rest, you roll your. Your hit die, I thought. No, that's the short rest. I think you get everything back. Yeah, I thought you get everything back in a long rest. Yeah, yeah long rest mm -hmm. is everything. Okay, but it, I, I'm pretty sure it's still only half of your hit total. Yeah, yeah, hit die. yeah. That that's true. So if you'd spent three, you only get like that's half the total rounded down. Yeah, I assume you guys recorded any hit die you used, right? While I was gone. So. Uh, we didn't exactly do a short rest while we were in this. Okay. While we were in this well, cave, I get so. everything back then. Yeah, yeah. You assume we needed to rest to clear this out. Yeah, no, that wasn't no. that wasn't the case. This place okay, cool. easily before our might. Hmm. 
Um, okay, so let me know when you guys are ready, and then we'll move on to the old owl. Well, I think I think we're ready, aren't we? Did anybody ready. want to do anything? Ready I guess I, I'm, I'll convert back into wood elf form for now. I don't think you have a choice. You can only be in it for like an hour or something, right? Yeah, I think that's right, actually. Oh. Okay, so you guys walk through the uh, wilderness for another day until you reach uh, the ruins of the old owl well, which you can barely see the tower from a distance. It's an old uh, crumbling tower uh, that has a well in it, and that's why it's called the old owl well. So um, you can't really see it on the map from where you are, but it's over in this direction, down to the south. Um, can you guys see where you are if I shift? Yeah. yeah, I can see. I can also see that bugbear right there. Yeah, me too. <laughs> there's a bugbear? Where? Yeah, there's like a dude right here. Oh, sorry, that's a mistake. There's no bugbear. Okay. <laughs> that was an extra random part. That's, that's not supposed to be there. I think I had that to test the, the lighting. Hmm. It works. <laughs> <laughs> it was well lit. Mm -hmm. Okay, so the report is that there's a bunch of undead here. Um, so what would you like to do? Or you can also rearrange yourselves, because I just copied it. <coughs> so I, don't well, know I think the first. usual playbook is to send uh, Yin Fan ahead as a scout. It is, unfortunately. So um, I guess I'm going to be rolling stealth checks. Um, you can roll a stealth check and also give me an investigation check. Not a perception? No, not perception, because you're actively looking. Perception is um, just to see stuff. I have the... Nice so stealth think, roll. Well, like, investigation... Like, well, like the difference is that um, perception is your ability to notice that something's out of place. Investigation is your ability to determine why... What, what what it is like? Uh, okay. would allow right, you to the, see that there's a crack in the wall, and investigation would be able to allow you to figure out what that crack is doing there. Okay, so then do do perception. Okay. Oh, so nice. As you're, the rolls. As you're walking forward, you smell a powerful odor of death. Powerful odor of death. So. Uh, I want to say to my companions, so um, I definitely smell the undead here because I smell death, and that's what we're supposed to be finding here. That sounds like zombies and not skeletons. Yeah, that's that's what I'm thinking too, because I'm thinking zombies, rotting flesh smells more than yeah. dry bones. So. Okay. Um, yeah, if I, anyone's I got asked, any, uh, any blunt weaponry they want to get out. I, I asked the uh, cleric if... I mean... Uh, if he has power to destroy these things. Uh, <laughs> if you're asking that I have a smite turn undead, I have not. Okay. But you do have ch uh, channel divinity to turn the undead. Hmm. True. So. But that's. Um... I, I kind of, I kind of nudge the uh, cleric forward. <laughs> 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 Grendel's not fond of dead things. That. Are actually not I don't know who it is. <laughs> okay, so are we move him. Yeah, he re he's reluctantly. All right, so as Yin Fan steps through the trees, he can see um, some zombies and also the edge of the tower. Yes, I do see them. Okay. Um, Berg, is there a way for me to? Oh yeah, there is. Aha! Zooming out. Okay. Ooh, it's about 70 feet. What's the range for a short bow? 60, I think. 60 and 300. So, obviously, I want to say the guys, hey, you know, zombies ahead. I see them. Let's uh, prepare for attack. Range so, they haven't this. noticed you yet. Um, so, if you want to attack them from a distance, you certainly can. Uh, right. But then they'll definitely see it. I'm just right. a bit um, worried about what's uh, over in this direction here. Well, I'm not seeing leave. anything over there yet. No. I, I, I can see. Somebody uh, else can go over there if you want to scout. Like, I can I can see here. Um, approximately. All that. Right now, you know. 
And um, the only thing that I see is, you know, uh, these zombies over here. Yeah. Yeah. What's this red thing that just appeared? Oh, I was just, uh, I was just drawing what my line of sight is. Uh, okay. Like everything inside of that I can kind of see. Okay. So... Well, uh... Hmm. So do we want to kind of engage? We could, Maybe. or we could kind of... With advanced surprise advantage? Yeah, uh, just maybe, like, get a better handle on how many of these things we're facing, because well, I, I can see... only see one right now. I can see two, and they're sitting right next to each other. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, Check the trees or anything. We've we've been burned before, where we think. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, let me kind of move around the side. All right. I'm not seeing anything south around this tree. Did you see anything north up here behind? No, no. I didn't see anything over there. Ah, uh, nothing is there. Seems All right. I can. All right. There seems. I see two more. Zombies. I see a whole lot more than I two. Four. <laughs> Five. Uh, well, let's see. Because have... I'm zoomed out, so. Yeah, but I see a whole lot there. We have. All right, all right. Hold on, so I see one, two, three, four, two five, six, seven, eight, Seven, nine, can... ten, eleven, twelve. Yeah, he can see into the tower, and he can see that it's filled with zombies. Yeah, there's just that one. Which is why, which is why I suggested we stay back, sneak attack. From yeah. a range and let them slowly come to us while we use range attacks. Okay, can I get a stealth check from Safira? Okay. Let's go. Where How about I just make an attack roll now? <laughs> 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 attack now. Okay, so if you guys want to attack, then let's go ahead and. Uh, Does anybody want to well, move into position? Let me clear the initiative and then um, go ahead and. Make an initiative ball. Well, I, I don't think we could uh, move before we... Okay. Yeah. We should All right. do initiative first. And then... So oh are, do zombies have resistance to piercing damage or no? Damn you. I'm looking at the zombie and the beast manual. It doesn't look like they do. No, yeah, it's how the undead 42. Yeah. Hey, that's cheating, man. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> okay, sorry. Initiative roll. Um. <coughs> in, come in, come in. Okay. Oops. So, I don't mean to alarm anyone, but there appears to be a wizard. There's a wizard. Ooh. Oh, so, um, uh, there's a wizard. Uh, I don't know. Uh, you kill the dude that controls zombies, do the, the zombies kind of dispel? <laughs> oh, that's a good idea. Yeah. yeah. The problem is I don't, I don't see him yet. Oh, I thought you said you saw a wizard. Nah, just in the turn order. Oh, I see, I see. <laughs> uh, yeah, I could swear in the turner there's a way to just hit uh, ascending and or descending order instead of having to rearrange them individually. Oh, yeah, if you hit the settings thing. I'm going last, so I don't know. Okay, so um, Nevin's up first. What would you like to do? Um... Would it be possible for me to climb this tree? Yeah, you can climb the tree. So how far up the tree do you want to go? These are pretty tall trees. Um, pretty how tall is it? 10 meters. Mm. I'll climb four. Okay, so that'll count as difficult terrain, so you'd have to spend... 
Um, Your movement speed is reduced to half. Yeah. Yeah. But uh, you can easily get up the tree because they have plenty of branches. I, like I kind of want to do the same now. <laughs> <laughs> And uh, four meters is what? About ten foot, probably a little more. It's about twelve feet. Yeah. yeah. High enough to be safe from zombies. <laughs> and then I'll take a shot at the closest one that I can see. Okay. So ten is actually a hit. Oh, nice. That's oh, you uh, got a you got a natural six there. for hit, and then a. Yeah, you can see one. Oh, okay. <laughs> so mine is 10. Okay, so you stick in with an arrow. Um, and wait, wait, but he got a natural 20. I think he needs to crit, crit roll. Yeah, oh, you yeah. need to re-roll your dice, another 1d8. Yeah, dude. without the modifier, just a 1d8. Okay, so an extra 2. Um, you should be able to use your character sheet to attack now. We figured out the macro yeah. problem. If you want to do that, you just have to put in the, the uh, crit die and then it'll work. Okay, um, Yim Fan is up. Okay. Um, I'm not going to pussy out, though. I'm tempted to. I'm just going to attack the same zombie. And that is a hit. So that's almost enough to destroy it, but it's still clinging on. Um, so uh, we're going to skip our turns. Dasos is up. OK, so I'm going to use my uh, action to cast a bark skin on myself. OK. Um, so I will cast that. Buddy, talk with Mama. So that puts my AC up to 16 uh, for an hour. And then I'm going to use, as a bonus action, I'm going to uh, shapeshift into a brown bear, um, which puts my hit points at 34. Sorry, let me just adjust. 34. Whoops. Bears have a lot of hit points, huh? That's Dire Wolf Dire actually Wolf has actually. more. But the uh, bear gets two attacks per hit. Okay, yeah. and then, um, so my speed is 40 feet on this. Whoops. I'd recommend you don't charge. <laughs> I agree. Oh, really? Yeah, I'd recommend you kind of wait back here and kind of wait for them to come to us so we can get in some range attacks first. Okay, well, let me at least kind of get into the front of the group here. Wait, yeah. aren't bears large? Or can you turn into large creatures? So if I'm, like, if I'm like there, is that a good spot to be tanking? I can't even sure. see where they all are. You, I can't see you right now, but uh, it's a good place. Yeah, that's a good spot because they're all basically here. They are okay. down here and, and then here. continues down. Okay, so I will. Um, and here. Here. <laughs> okay, well, I'll just kind of sit at the front of the pack here and make myself a target. Okay, Safira is up next. All right, so uh, Safira is going to take aim at this one here. And I'm going to cast Firebolt. And that's enough to set the zombie on fire, but unfortunately it's moist and squishy, so it doesn't do very much damage. Oh. <laughs> okay. Sorry, I'm just testing something real quick. All right, uh, Grendel's up. Well, I'll move up so I can see what's going on because I can't see anything. One second. If you move around here. Wait. Why well, can't? Oh. What? Try there or down by Yinfen. Then you should be able to see down. Yeah, I was going to go towards the... You, you, you guys see the arrow? No. Mm, nope. Okay. Here? All 
Ah, shit, I can't see anything now. Um, I would have moved here. Yeah, what, why is it... I... So, it might be is, inside is the tree there. completely obstructing, like, even if in that square? That doesn't make sense to me, but whatever. Uh, I guess here, then. It's, uh, that's my movement. <laughs> I still can't see much. I can see two zombies now, I guess. Uh, and I don't think I could reach it with my javelin, so I'll have to do nothing. <laughs> okay, it's uh, Nevin's turn again. My uh, uh, options are limited here. Oh, wait, wait, hold on. Uh, sorry. Actually, I could, I could reach it with a... Uh, at the long range, uh, what's the? Uh, I'll do that. I'll throw that javelin because um, it reaches up to 120 feet. And um, since it's surprise, they're making attacks with advantage right now. Right. What's so the? That, uh, so the disadvantage would be canceled out. Okay. Okay. That's that's all it is. Okay. Yeah. Uh, didn't matter, I guess. <laughs> Either way, it didn't matter. <laughs> Wait, I suck. Oh no, that's actually a hit. What? <laughs> <laughs> hey, which one were which one were you trying to hit? Sorry, uh, I was hitting this this sucker right here. Okay, so the guy next to the one that was lightly burned. Do you nick him with a javelin? Yeah, zombie AC is like incredibly low. <sighs> okay, so Nevin is up. Uh, all right, I'll let's see if this works here. Nope, that did not work. Uh, anyway, check off the boxes in the. Uh, oh, wait a minute! Wait a minute! Wait a minute. Uh, all right. That first. Wait a minute. That first uh, attack round, we were attacking with advantage, which means I actually critted on the short bow attack I did, and I did one extra damage to this zombie. Which one? The almost dead one? This one. So if you do one extra point of damage, then he's almost deader. Almost <laughs> 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 well, You had two hit points, so you do one. Then it was it worth a try. Yeah. There we go. Oh, but zombies have that... Uh, yeah, the, the endurance the thing. Crap, yeah. yeah, if you kill it with a crit, it goes down. Here, oh, it does. It, it, it doesn't, it doesn't get a okay. save. Awesome. Which is another reason I was like... Yeah, yeah. No, that's understandable. Uh, that's fine. Uh, sorry, guys. I'm going to move myself a little bit. And then I'll... Spiritual weapon. Okay, so where are you casting it? Uh, down here, max range. I should probably okay. um, add to that. What kind of weapon are you doing? Uh, I'm thinking of uh, some kind of blunt weapon. Probably a two-handed hammer, if there is one. Uh -huh. What about that, um, that ogre's club? That was more like a tree trunk than anything. <laughs> So it's a tree trunk. <laughs> okay, so down here? Yeah, that's about right. Okay. All right, um, Yin Fan is up. Okay. Um, I choose to once again attack the dickhead that refuses to go down. Aha! Ooh, nice. nice. He is dead no matter what. Okay, so that zombie... Uh, gets hit in the eye and it collapses to the ground. Alex, you're rolling like pro tonight. Yeah, mm. with a hot hand. Don't jinx it. <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> All right, so there's so many dead that I'm not even gonna bother to move them individually. <laughs> <laughs> they come out like Walking oh. Dead style. <laughs> <laughs> a gigantic herd of zombies comes. Uh, Surging oh, um, Safira, is, is Safira holding the glass staff? Yeah. 
Okay. <laughs> so, um, and in the middle of all of these zombies is a, a wizard, and his voice booms uh, magically loud, and he screams, what is the meaning of this? And then he looks uh, straight at Sephira, and he sees the glass staff, and he says, oh, you must have uh, killed the wizard with the glass staff. No, I didn't kill the wizard with the glass staff. He handed it down to me. I'm the next in line. <laughs> <laughs> Roadblock. Sounds, like sounds like a persuasion check. <laughs> oh, no. Or bluff. Bluff. A bluff check? Is there a bluff check? There's a deception check. <laughs> there you go. Deception. Okay, go ahead and roll it. <laughs> All right. Oh, that's good. <laughs> All right, then um, uh, he says to you, what is it that you want here? He told me to come and meet the great spider. Okay, uh, he, he looks at you very confused, and he says, what? I've said it once. He told me to come out here and meet the great spider. There was much work for me to carry on. Okay, so I should also explain to you, um, the wizard is, uh, is dressed in red robes, and um, he has a tattoo in the middle of his forehead. And if you want to do an arcana check... Um, okay. An arcana check? Yeah. Nice. Okay, so you recognize it as a, a symbol of necromancy, and that... Uh, the tattoos in, in the um, forehead are a sign of the uh, red wizards of Thay, who live far to the east. Wait a minute, is this the necromancer that was, uh, that, what's his glass staff was working for? We don't know yet. We're going to find out soon. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so um, he, he says to you, who are you? I am simply the daughter of Sir Glassstaff. I was the next in line for the scepter. He's explained it as a family heirloom, and upon passing away, he uh, decided that I must carry on with your work. And that there was much to be learned from the great spider. Uh, he looks at you and he says, lies. How can you say they're lies? And he says, I'm no spider. Do you know what happened last time the glass staff came here? And what he happened? And he over at uh, one of the zombies, and you realize that he's wearing a red cloak. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wonderful. It was a good try. Oh... <laughs> uh... Attack. I guess, yeah, we're done talking with him, but I don't feel like getting mauled by zombies on the next turn. <laughs> so. I will... That's what I'm here for. Retreat. Well, does anybody else want to say anything to him? I'm too far away think, to uh, talk. I'm in bear form, so I can't exactly <laughs> carry on the conversation at the moment. You can growl at him. Yeah, okay, I'll growl at him. I'll flip him off. <laughs> Give him the finger. I, I asked him to uh, uh, halt his zombies, and, and then we could talk. Uh, Otherwise, I... At the I'm moment, the, the, the zombies are, are just shambling around him, but they're not advancing. Okay. Unless uh, you order them to advance. Yeah, just don't, don't provoke him. He's kind of got the huge upper hand here. Well, what can we say to him now that... Well, he, while you're, you're all sitting there trying to figure out what to say, he says to you, now what are you really doing here? Hmm. He says what? What, what are, are we really doing, doing here? Well, we could just tell him the truth. That we had slaughtered him and all his minions? No, uh, wh why, why did we come here again? Because I'm missing okay. his attentions as to the... Uh... The village of, what is it called again? 
Fandolin. You're supposed to be finding out why there are all these dead things. Fan- oh, Fandolin. Wow. Well, so we're not, awesome. we're not going to tell him that, so I think that the idea is I'll say something. Um, I'm here to study necromancy. I attacked, I attacked the glass staff, and I killed him, and I stole all of his notes on necromancy. He had apparently made zombies out of a few people that had tried to infiltrate the Red Brand hideout at one point. And after rummaging through his studies, I found that this place was somewhere where I could find a necromancer. Uh, and he tells you, uh, that wizard was a fool. He couldn't have created a zombie. He did. Maybe his master did, but he had no such talent. Well, we found zombies there, and so, there was no no notes of his master going anywhere in there. Who's, uh, who's his master? Uh, his master was the spider. No, I asked Larno. <laughs> Okay, all right. That's the spider. Uh, So what's your relation to spider? Uh, He says, I have no relation to to the wizards here. My only business is uh, my research. What are you researching? Would you be willing to share your research with me? Absolutely not. Perhaps I have interesting. Perhaps I have interesting investigations found by the glass staff that I can hand to you for some of your own research. If you give us re- your research, we'll hand over the Wookie. <laughs> <laughs> so he he looks at you uh, very carefully. Do you want to make a persuasion check? Oh, sure. Who Why not? The Wookie? I'm pretty good at that, too. I guess I'm the Wookiee. <laughs> I was going to say, because I'm like, one of my major nicknames is Wookiee. I was like, what the fuck are you going to say? <laughs> I'm like, I don't know what do you know. I can see that, Alex. I can there. see that. <laughs> Join forces with the necromancer. <sighs> All right, so he says, um, if you have anything useful, then uh, I'm willing to trade information. Well, what do you find useful? He sighs and he says, I'm looking for an ancient artifact. Well, you can't just tell me an ancient artifact. For all I know, you're looking for Excalibur. (laughs) It says, 10,000 years ago, a star fell from the sky over the uh, Sea of Swords and landed somewhere in this region. Its shards are known as the God's Tears, and one of them was rumored to be here. I've been searching for it, but I can't find it. What would you plan to do with it if you found it? Take it back to Thay, of course. For what purpose? You couldn't possibly understand. Perhaps Sophia well, could understand? Sophia is going to slide over her pack and uh, going to rummage through the notes that Glassstaff had quickly just to see if there was any mention of the tears. Uh, There is not. There is not. Yes, I have a little bit of information on that, actually. (laughs) Uh, His eyes light up, and he looks very greedy and hungry, and he says, give it to me. Well, what do you have that's interesting? I can't just give you it. And you got to give me a lot. This whole pack here has information. The wizards of Thay will reward you richly if you give us the artifact. Wizards of Thay better pay up front. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, Jesus. The wizards of Thay, would we have to go to them, or would you be able to bring us the goods? I could summon them here. Interesting. Not interesting. I don't know if you really want to summon a level 20 wizard, but... I don't think you do. I really, really don't know why we're bargaining with this necromancer right now. All right. I'll get you that artifact. We'll find it for you. Give me the information. 
now. I think you just called your bluff. <laughs> <laughs> well, truth is I had no information. Sorry. <laughs> you tell me? I attack the witches. <laughs> Surprise yeah, attack. I I no, uh, he's not surprised at this point. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jesus. But maybe he didn't quite see it coming? No, he definitely did not trust you after just, after seeing you lie twice. <laughs> but he, it was, he didn't, but it was he a didn't quite shot. know about the second time. He didn't well, quite. you just told him. <laughs> just told him. <laughs> well, yeah, now I told him. He didn't find that out. <laughs> Yeah, but he was looking over at Sephira when me standing behind the tree took a shot. I was hiding. Yeah, all we got to do is get rid of this guy anyways. Wow. Okay, so it's it's uh, Thassos' turn. Sheesh. Well, I, I think I'm just going to probably stay here and be a meat shield, and uh, <laughs> I guess already uh, already an attack. Wait, so did I hit the lizard? Um, it, we, in the initiative order, you, you okay, can't actually. Okay, it's not going to allow it. Yeah, okay. not yet. Because okay. you didn't get a surprise attack because the deception didn't work. Okay. Yeah, I'm not going to charge in there. I'll just wait here for the zombies to come to me and I'll ready up. Okay. Whoever gets the range. Well, obviously, Reynolds going to need to move up, so will I. Right, he's Already my multi attack. Or you know what? You could just move forward some, because wait a second, wait a second. Okay, Grendel can make it to the front line in his turn. He's gonna move before the zombies do. Oh, that's true. You can yeah. move over here, and then I'll move in as well. So we can okay. all make it to the front line. Yeah, and uh, across here. And uh, I'm definitely spending a rage at this point, so. Uh, so you can move up and attack now. Yeah. Okay. So I. So you want me to move right? I mean, and that'll keep a little distance, you know, from the caster. Casters. Like there? Yeah, you can. Okay. You know, like. I mean, Grendel can reach either one. Yeah. Okay, so I'll go ahead and... Um, oh, hold on. Hold on one sec. What is it, buddy? No. Can you go talk to Mama? I'm, I'm in her bedroom. All right. So I'll go ahead and, and uh, I get a bite and a claws for attack. So I'll go ahead and attack the one that's closest to me here. Sorry, one sec. Yeah. Here, do you want to say hi? Okay. There. You see? See, that's you right there. I'm level three. Say hi. Hi. Hello. <laughs> Okay, then. Go talk to Mama now, okay? All right. So, here we go. Uh, first attack on the one closest to me. Maul him. Wait, Eat that rotten flesh. Did I move? Sorry, that was an accident. I was like, no. Don't do that. Okay, here we go. Okay, I'm guessing that's a hit. So, start with... Um, what? Just four. Ooh, that was a nice hit. Okay. Nice. So is he alive still, or where is he? Uh, alive? He is still alive. Okay. But he's so, badly mauled. Okay. So, um, uh, go ahead and use my try my bite on him. And that's a hit. That's a hit. So. Not the greatest hit, but... All right, so you managed to tear a giant chunk of flesh out of him, and he's still barely clinging together. All right. And Sephira is up next. All right. Sephira knows the jig's up. So... The one near me is almost dead, so if you could take it out. The zombie? Yeah, the one next yep. to me. Clo kind oh, of I was, was going to go straight for the wizard. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's, that's fine, true. too. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. That makes sense. Yeah. So, do that. Uh, let's see. We'll take care of the zombies. Yeah, I was planning on arrowing the lizard while I punched the zombies. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So, first, I'm going to tap on the, uh, the wizard. Nice. So, <laughs> that's going to do six extra damage to to the wizard after I attack him with whatever attack I do. But it's and just you, that's... right? Yeah, just for me. Right. Since that was a bonus action, I'm going to cast my Eldritch Blast. So, 11 against Wizard. And that, unfortunately, is a miss. So the blast goes streaking past him. Oh. Oh, well. I gave it a shot. Um, and then now I will move backwards. There we go. Okay. All right. My turn, right? Yes. I move here. And I'll rage. Actually, I'm going to go into a frenzy. Oh, damn. Which will give me an extra attack, but I will be exhausted at the end of it. That's okay. Uh, let's see. So. Nice. Is that a hit? That is a hit. Uh, add two more to that, because I'm raging. Okay, which one are you attacking? The one below you? Yeah, right here. Okay, so... That one was already damaged, so minus 10. Okay, so it looks like it's I, in bad shape. I get another attack because I'm frenzying. Uh, hold on, let me see what if it does anything else. Okay. No, that's it. Okay, so I'll attack again. Same one. Uh, so yeah, eight more. Hit, and that's enough eight. to drop it. Okay. Nice. So that zombie goes down. And uh, Nevin is up. And uh, I'll take a shot at that one down there. Oh, okay. how about the wizard? Uh, uh, you can't see the wizard. I can't see the wizard. I see three oh. zombies, or four zombies, rather. Hmm. I wonder if it would be best to move down from the tree and get an angle where you can hit the wizard. Maybe. But uh, at the same time, I also have my uh, spiritual weapon down there, so that I get two attacks, really. Also, if anyone could hit him with like a witch bolt, that would be amazing. I presume that's a hit on the zombie? That is a hit. Um, so he's going to take 10 points of damage. Okay. And then it's an attack with the hammer on the zombie below it. Okay. And uh, I'm not sure how this works, but I'm presuming it's a uh, 1 to 20 to hit and then uh, my modify on it. So that's still a hit. Uh, 1 to 8. Okay. All right, so you hit it in the face and break its cheekbone, and uh, Yin Fan is up. Okay. I'm um, moving. Oops. I'm going to move, yeah. Uh, I'm going to take a range attack against the wizard. There we go. And that is a hit. So nice. four damage. Okay. And then I'm going to take my bonus action to kick this zombie right in front of me. Nice. That's a hit. So seven points of damage. Okay. All right. Um, so I guess the wizard is up now. All right, so the wizard um, points past Yin Fan, and Good. bolt of fire goes streaking 
<laughs> <That's a pain. laughs> Tracing out behind and explodes oh. all over here, um, which will actually kill one zombie. But um, everybody roll a dexterity saving throw, except for Never. Uh, what's my dexterity? Oh, wow. Dex save. Ooh. Dexterity uh, save. This is, uh, is this Firebolt? Uh, uh, Firebolt? Firebolt. God damn it. Mm. Eventually I get evasion. Um, but not yet. A dexterity save? Yeah. Mm. Done it. Plus five. Oh, Jesus. Oh, wow. Oh, my God. Wow. Did mine go? I guess not. So, uh, he can cast level three spells. He's at least, uh, fifth. Not right? a good idea. He's at least fifth level, then. That's, that's fine. Okay, so, um... Let's see, for Tree and um, also for Grendel. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I have uh, I have advantage on deck saving throw against the effects that I can see. This is definitely an effect I can see. Yeah, you can see it. So then uh, I actually didn't critically fail. I got a 19. Nice. <laughs> okay, so Grendel and Yin Fan um, just take 13 points of damage. Uh, Thassos... <laughs> Here are going to take 26 points of damage. Just 13. <laughs> oh my god. That's so, so yeah, can everybody shoot the wizard, please? And if someone has a bloody witch bolt. Um, uh, was I hit by the. Uh, no, but that's why I was saying yeah. move and hit the wizard. How much damage? <laughs> yeah. 26 points of damage. 26? Yeah. Holy crap. Yeah. Uh, fireballs are serious heal. <laughs> it's like 86 or something. Yeah, it's 86. I think Josh is trying to kill the party again. Uh, <laughs> I didn't tell you you had to kill the wizard. Saphir is not having any of this fight. I am going to run for the wizard. Oh, uh, wait, it's the zombie's turn. I know. Okay, so all the zombies that were caught up in the fireball, I'm just going to say died because um, it's a fireball. Okay, so um, one, two... With this dead body. Three. Four um, zombies will swarm that house. None of those did. Oh, wait a minute. No. Sorry. Did you do four? Yeah, four. Oh, I thought I only see. Oh, there are four. Okay. So the one who rolled a 22 hit. Okay. That's only two points of damage. All right, well, I can move that, I guess. All right, then I'm going to move these dead bodies. So I can throw. So three will swarm Grendel. Uh, what's your AC? Fifteen. So um, there's one hit for six points of damage. Six? Yeah. Oh, well, actually, it's going to be three because I have a uh, resistance. Resistance. Okay, and the last one attacks Yin Fan, uh, six points of damage. And then the other three will just uh, swarm around the wizard. Okay. Wait, what so, did you go for? The one that attacks me? Yeah, you took six points of damage. Are you sure? Seems rude. I agree with that. Okay, so uh, Tassos is up next. Okay, so um, I'll go ahead and attack the one kind of right, kind of between me and, and Fan. Um, so yeah, I keep. What's going on here? There we go. That's um, a hit. So that's a hit, so we'll go with Claws. Not an ideal word, but... All right, so second attack. Uh, oh, that's a miss. It was almost on 18. Darn it. Okay. So that's my turn. Okay, Sephira's up next. 
Uh, let's see here. Unleash everything you have, man. I'm like, Ryan. I'm about to go down. You are? I have four HP left. Well, all right. So do most of us. Unleash everything you got. Yeah. Uh, fucking. You gotta have a AOE spell, right? Of some sort. Uh, not really. Really? You got a witch bolt? Which are you? I'm kidding. <laughs> You don't have burning hands or anything like that? No, no burning hands. How about magic missiles? I could, I could be here. Uh, I could attack, but I mean How do you how do you bring up the arrow? Uh, the ruler? Yeah. On the left. Uh, it's the fifth, fifth tool down. Shift down? The fifth tool on the toolbar on the left, under the magnifying glass. Under the magnifying glass. In the top left corner of your screen. Oh, it's the sixth tool down. It's four tools for us. Oh, you guys have two. If you have any uh, useful spells right now, is the time to use it. <laughs> yeah, I'm trying to think. I just want to, I just want to bring up that that arrow thing, but I'm not seeing how to do it. I'm not too sure. If I'm... The yeah, there's a ruler um, underneath the what looks like a popsicle, but it's supposed to be magnifying. Oh, I don't even have one of those. Oh, you don't have the tool arm? Really? No. That's weird. Hmm. Underneath something that looks like a popsicle? Okay, well, what are you trying to measure? I'll help you out. I just wanted to measure the uh, distance between me and him. You and the wizard? Yeah. Oh, okay, that's that's fine. Perfect. <coughs> so I'm going to cast another Eldritch Blast at him. Okay. Uh, just give me a second to bring it up. Oh my gosh. That unfortunately is a miss, so it goes streaking past him. Yeah, so uh, not liking the situation, I'm just going to move back a bit more. Okay, uh, Grendel's up. Yeah, what's the rule on... Uh, does, do every, all the zombies get a opportunity attack if I move away from them? Uh, no, if you take a disengage action, you can move away and none of them attack you. If you don't take a disengage, then they all get an opportunity to attack. Okay, let me see. Let me just see how far this guy is for me. Okay. Yeah, maybe I'll disengage and... Hold on, let me uh, see if I could... Are you planning on going all in or are you planning on backing out? No, I'm, I'm this... trying to get to the... Uh, I want to kill this... Dude, we, that should, we should consider the possibility of a tactical retreat here. He's a lot stronger than all of us, and he has the numbers. I'm thinking this is not uh, looking real great at the moment. Yeah. I really don't like this wizard, though. Like, he burnt me. <laughs> okay. Um, so you, uh, you think we should retreat? I think that's probably the wiser course. Uh, what, uh, what do the rest of you think? I don't know. That that would be my vote. I think we're... The viewer's we're... vote seems to already be cast. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I guess RP-wise, I am raging, so I don't know. Somebody has to shout at him, retreat. Yeah. So until someone does that, I will... I'll just okay. attack the zombies in front of me, I guess. Yin Fan, you're going to have to make the shout, man, because I'm in bare form. Uh, All right. Yes, protect us. And I get two attacks. My well, first is a... So that's a hit. Um, is it the one below you or the one diagonal or the one... Uh, you I will... Oh, that's a good question. Uh, what, maybe... The one I'm gonna hit the maybe one. the one that I can hit so we can maybe kill one or two on a, yeah. on a retreat. Yeah, so uh, hit one that you can hit? Yeah. Yeah, so, so that's this is the one. Okay, that so the one in between. 
Okay, so you slash it with your uh, great axe. Yeah, and I get another attack. Uh, by the way, you have to add two to that, so it's uh, ten, actually. Okay, same one? Yeah. Ten and eight. So eight. Two minus ten. All right, so you chop its arm off, and it looks like it's barely limping, uh, but it's still standing. Um, so Nevin's up. Nevin, don't you have, like, turn undead or something like that? Well, this would be the time to use anything yeah. you've got. Yeah. You, we're you literally, we're going to die, so... If you could get up here and channel Divinity to turn undead... Yeah, if you could send these things fleeing, that would really turn the fight around. I don't even know if you're up, up in the tree where you are. Can you turn, or do you have to be in... Yeah, what's the range distance? and all that on... <laughs> I I'm actually not too bad. I'm uh, I'm still at uh, above twenty. So. Um. Yin Fan looks the most beat up. Hold yeah. on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I have five. We, don't worry about healing. We got to turn undead here. A turn undead. If you can get down here, every creature within thirty feet that doesn't that doesn't survive a, a wisdom saving throw, throw flees for one minute. That's six round, uh, well, oh, that's that's awesome. rounds. That's awesome. We've got to get these, these zombies away from us. I mean, if one you turn, Yeah, if but you if he can majority cast majority of them, I'm going to go after that wizard. Cause... If he can cast another fireball, though, that's three people going down. Well, Grendel won't go down because Relentless yeah. Endurance. Uh, Jewett will go back to his And, I, and I also get advantage of my death save. So. And how many hit? I mean, I don't know how many hit points Yin Fan has, but five. Yeah, yeah Yin oh, Fan. I use some healing, but. Uh, I mean, the reality is Yin Fan probably won't survive another fireball. Well, might not survive another fireball. Yeah. Either. Well, I think I think Yin Fan should definitely retreat. Um, and so yeah. so do you. I mean, you look like you're pretty hurt. Well, I can still. I'll go back to. Oh no! Form, you're, you're in the. Yeah, you're in the. And then I can yeah. go back into what. This is all like form. extra hit points for you right yeah. now. Exactly. Okay. So, which two? Well, if you could cast a healing spell on me and then move up closer again. But I think turn. your well, your turn is a is an action, so you can't do both. I I'd say uh, can't you move closer to turn uh, instead of try only getting two? I think it's just time to retreat. Oh yeah. How far can you move? I had to climb down the tree. Oh, so that's all your movement, basically, right? Okay, so you're not going to be able to get within range to turn. You I can also turn defensively, you know, when they come in range. Well, that's not a terrible idea. Um, you cover your retreat. Uh, heal Yim Fan. Uh, he's in trouble and he's in front line. Yeah, he needs healing. Although he will be able to disengage next turn, but... Yeah, but... Um, Ooh! On my turn I can cast Silence so the wizard can't cast any more spells. There oh. you go! Oh, you should have done that last week. No. In that case, definitely yeah. heal Yim Fan. Yeah. Awesome. Oh, but the wizard goes before you. Oh. No, he doesn't. Yin Fan's up next. No, I mean Safira. <clears throat> no, I can cast silence. Yeah, Yin Fan is the one that has silence. <laughs> oh, oh, I thought I thought Safira had the silence. Okay. Okay. No, sadly, I will never learn it. Oh, jeez. All right. Hey, every little bit helps. Okay, so that's a hit uh, for ten. How does a wizard look? 
Um, he looks like he's a little bit beat up, but he's not like in bad shape. And uh, Yin Fan is up. Okay. <clears throat> so let me look here at my sheet. Get that spell up. All right. We got darkness. So that is a full action. And you said you had silence, right? Or sorry, uh, silence. I meant to write silence. In the video. Silence. So one action. Um, what is that? Oh, silence. There we go. Yeah, what is that? <laughs> oh, that's dog drinking water. Oh. <laughs> and um, you so, want to draw your, your sphere. yeah, like twenty foot sphere. So let's see. Um, I kind of want him to <sighs> thinking. Just center it on him. Yeah, center it on him. That's fine. Well, I want to make it to where, I mean, no matter which direction he goes, he's going to be able to get out of it within one turn. But I kind of want to make him, force him to move forward towards us rather than away from us. We can't cast the fireball. I see. And then, uh, then put the edge right by him then. Yeah, so I think the edge right I... by him would be best. Uh, hold if you want him to uh, move forward towards us. All right, so... But the thing is, we're not going to be able to get to him anyways, are we, with this line of zombies in our way? Well, I guess so, if they get turned, if they get turned next round. Whatever. If I can move this. No. All right. I'm trying to. I'm sorry. I'm screwing this all up. That's all right. Do something like this, except bigger than that. How do I get rid of this thing? Uh, click on it and then click delete with your pointer. Wow. It would be helpful if I could see the bloody squares. I, I know. Squares. Um, if you hold down Shift and Alt, it'll constrain the circle, and you can just drag it out to the 40 radius, and then... All right, so I kind of want him to have to move forward, so I want to cast it directly in front of him, sort of. Like a here-ish is the length of the circle. You know, if he casts another fireball... <laughs> but he'll be too close to us to cast fireball without hitting himself. Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay, yeah, okay. No, it makes sense. Mm. That's so I'm true. thinking, like... Yeah. Let's see. But yeah, uh, making him move forward to cast is good, because then I could engage him in melee, and once I do that, I think, I think we're good. Mm. <laughs> So, how do I... I don't know. Um, do you want to hold the arrow out to the 20-foot radius? I'm going to let me draw. Maybe, you want to center uh, it there? Actually, I kind of want to center it so that... No, I want to center it so it's like... Maybe... Here? No. Yeah. Maybe one further forward. You want it like this, so it's, it's engulfing you guys, or you want it backwards, like this? I want it to be behind him, so it forces him to move forward. So, like, only this area right here is kind of where he can... So, like stay. this? Or like this? Yeah, like that. Yeah, yeah. Like, like that. Like, he yeah. needs to... In fact, maybe, like, if I could shift it over one. Okay. Like that? Yeah. Yeah, Make yeah. That silence. That's a good. That's a good spot. There we go. So let's see. Plus four. And I guess he could retreat over this way. It's two of my key points. And then. 
Hey, why don't you move the circle more this way so that... Well, I want to... Because he needs to push over here where we can get to him. Or he's, you know what I mean? Or push over here where we can get to him. Well, he could, he could, he could, he could make it over here. Um, mm -hmm. And I don't want... I mean, if you push it this way... Uh, I just don't want him to back up so far that he can just keep blasting. Unless... If you push the circle this way, like to the left more, then uh, this is the area he'll be safe, and that'll be right near Grendel. You know what I mean? Yeah, maybe if I could push yeah, it like, yeah, like, yeah. there, and then maybe up slightly. Yeah. Hmm. Well, so he's going to... Yeah. be able to reach yeah. his ass. Yeah. Yeah, I think... I think I think something like this would be okay, I think. Yeah, that seems pretty good. He he at least has to be somewhere like uh no. He at least has to be somewhere in this area, which is nearer to us than if he was back here, you know. Right. Yeah. And then um so I cast that and then as a bonus action I'm gonna use my remaining key point to cast uh, Patient Defense. So it's basically taking the dodge action, which uh, gives me advantage on any deck saving throws uh, for the remainder until my next turn comes up. And and what else? Uh, attacks against me have disadvantage. I think that should end my turn. OK. All right, so, so it is the wizard's turn, and he looks very flustered because he's in the silence and he can't uh, do anything. <laughs> so he's going to take off and he'll run outside of the um, thing. And then he is going to uh, point uh, near Yun Fan, and he casts a spell. And uh, from behind you, you hear a gigantic explosion of thunder. So Hold uh, a second, um, thunder wave has to be yeah. It has to the be the thunder origin yeah. has to be him. Yeah. Not to no, mention it's, it's, no, it's, it's not if it's thunder wave that is. It's not thunder wave. Okay. Okay. I was like, not to mention, oh, dang, it's just barely outside the circle. I was like, no sound can pass through the circle, too. OK, so the spell's going to originate from here. So um, Thassos, Yinfan, and Grendel make a constitution saving throw. Oh, so he's casting even higher level spells now. No, this is actually lower level. If you want to do an arcana, really? you can identify it. I, I thought that was chain lightning, but... No, no. What? I'll uh, I'll make an Arcana check. I'm curious. Mm, that's bad. <laughs> that's bad. Uh, Is it con save? Yeah. Con saving throw. So what do we know about? Uh, that's not enough for you to identify the spell, but you know that it's a a low level um spell that in that it inflicts <laughs> damage. Gal Galarian uh, tried to identify as well. Oh no! Okay, so you can you can identify it. So you identify the spell as shatter. Uh, oh, it's that. Uh, I saved. I, I'm pretty sure twenty one. Oh, okay. but um, so you only take that's a, that's not a con saving throw. It's just a con check. What's the difference? Well, the saving throws have bonuses or penalties against them. With your bear form, you should have a pretty good bonus. Oh. I imagine. So what am I so what am I supposed to hit? Um it's, it's under the saving throw in the core stats. Oh, I hit the ability check. Okay. Hold yeah, on. it's next to it. But it's oh, uh hold, with hold the hold bears. On. Sorry, hold on. Yeah, I I'm that was with that was not with the bears. Hold on. Yeah.
Is it a girl? Uh, sorry, uh, it's second. Second. No, it's yeah. rolling now. Okay. okay, so you take half damage. So eight. All right, so I take What eight. kind of damage is it, by the way? Thunder damage. Okay, never mind. Uh, so eight for Grendel, eight for eight. Thassos, and... All right. I am uh, I am for this retreating thing now. <laughs> All right, and so that I knocks me back into for human me. form. Yes. With okay. Oh, you're down. Fuck. I'm down. Yeah. All right, so Yinfan drops to the ground, and the sphere of silence collapses. Oh, is that a concentration spell? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Um. Well, we definitely need that turn undead. All right, so the uh, and the wizard seeing this, he, he says, "Give up." He says to us, "Give up." Yeah. Grendel, I think you have to do the talking here. Somebody else. I'm. Oh no, actually, I'm in widow. No, mode. it's actually no. It's not. It's not a. It's not concentration for me. No, oh, the spell version is. I don't know about the monk thing though. Yeah, the monk thing's an exact. I know it does say concentration, doesn't? Oh yeah, it does. It does. Shit, I was looking for that concentration thing. Yeah, speaking. they made a lot of the spells crappier in this edition because there's so many things that are concentration now, like polymorph and shape changes that are concentration. A lot of them are concentration now. Okay, so he said. He says, "What does he say again?" He says, "Give up." And after he says that, all of his zombies are surging forward. So unless somebody wants to do something, they're all going to start attacking. And I say, <laughs> I say, on what terms? Yeah, uh, 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 take, uh, halt your uh, zombies, and we'll. It says, we'll lay down your weapons and surrender. Lay down. Ah, oh, shit. Well, I don't mind doing that, ghost. You know. <laughs> <laughs> Um, what do we have right now? I mean, we still have... So who's up next? The zombies are up next. So they're going to be hitting hard. Um, <laughs> then me, then Safira, Grendel, and Nevin. So, I mean, I can probably survive the next round, but beyond that... Uh, yeah, I, I, I probably can too. Uh, I mean, unless they all hit me. <laughs> oh, I, I could definitely survive at least once, because... Uh, I got the half work thing. Right. Um, and let's see. Uh, but of course, the turn undead also, you know, they're all going to make wisdom saving throws, so some of them will presumably sur will presumably make the saving throw. Even though I got to think their wisdom is pretty low. But <laughs> um. Yeah, we need that turn undead now. <laughs> Well, okay. I, I I would kind of be in favor of um, laying down weapons because Nevin and Safira are so far away they can easily just pick them back up. I don't need weapons to be effective. Grendel's the only one that would be kind of affected by it. But yeah, I, I uh, the thing is that um, Axe is Grendel's uh, arcane focus. <laughs> Quote unquote. I don't think I don't know if you'll easily give that up. <laughs> well, you don't have to give it over. You just have to lay it down on the ground. Mm. I guess that's the smart move, right? <laughs> I think so. I'm not very smart, though. <laughs> uh, yeah. All right. I guess. I guess. Uh, Grendel carefully, uh, not carefully actually. He uh, 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 like slams the axe so it's like stuck to the ground. Okay. Like next to him. Lodges it into the ground. Yeah, how about the rest of you? Also slays down his. Well, he's got daggers, so he lays it down. Wait, and I say down. now, like, uh, uh, you know, uh, halter uh, zombies. Done what you asked. Uh, what about Nevin and Safira? You can see me. Yeah, I can't I don't see think him. he can see um, um, Safira. He can see Nevin. Uh, the zombies can see Safira though. 
Um, well, the zombies, I'm not too worried about them seeing me. I'm going to take a hide action, and I'm just okay. going to hide in that bush that's there. Yeah, but okay. he knows that you're there somewhere, right? Yeah. Well, he probably has the most interest in you because you're the one that lied to him, but you can still hide in the bush. Uh, don't fuck us over, man. Yeah, okay. <laughs> you know what? I'll get over here and hide, if I can do that. Um, well, you're out of range, so that's fine. You can do that. I can do that? Yeah. Um, how about uh, Nevin? Okay, so the zombies um, come forward at his command and surge around you guys, and they're just sort of forming a wall around you. And the wizard says, and where is your friend with the glass staff? He... Okay. All right. Um, he says, well, that's unfortunate because your friend is dying. Referring to Yin Fan, right? Yeah. Somebody yeah. could cast Spare the Dying on. <laughs> or that med kit. You're, you're surrounded uh, by zombies, though. Yeah. Tree, we're all in now, man. You, you got to just step out. <laughs> <laughs> we'll run away. Up to you. Well, I'm just going gonna, gonna to listen to whatever I can hear before I get out of there, so I'm going to stick around just for a bit longer. All right, I'll ask him. I'll ask the wizard. What do you What do you want with him anyways? I want that glass staff. I mean, that wouldn't be that much of a sacrifice to get away with our lives. You've caused me a great deal of trouble. And he points at his four dead zombies. <laughs> Unless like if you'd like to them, replace them. What you do. Hmm. Uh, I, I, I would need bodies for that. And he points at Yin Fan. All right, so he points at Nevin and he says, You, get me the glass staff. <laughs> I tell him uh, we'll retrieve the glass staff for us uh, for you uh, and he says you're not going anywhere your friend can go get it while you uh, wait here with me It may, it may take a while before we could find this uh, coward. Then you may be dead. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so there's no negotiating with this guy, right? No, he's very pissed off right now. Because uh, you lied to him twice and then you attacked him twice. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I guess there's that. <laughs> All right, Trey, you've been listening. Do you have any response? I am not our, responding. Our hands are sort of tied <laughs> here, buddy. Oh, man. Uh, see, right. the, the thing is, I, I could toss him the glass staff, but then do I trust him enough to let you guys go? I'm not sure if we have much choice. I mean, I don't know. I don't trust him, but I also trust that he'll kill us if he doesn't get it. <laughs> he doesn't have any reason to keep us alive. So either, uh, either, either it's guaranteed we'll die, or there's some chance that he'll keep his word. <laughs> oh man, Harry, what is it? It's tough to say. Um...
All right, so the wizard is getting impatient. So um, Alex, make a death saving throw. What's happening? Death saving throw? Yeah. OK, all right. You guys can decide what you want to do in the meantime. That's a failure. So just so everybody knows, if, if he has to do another one and he critically misses, then he's dead. So he's potentially one roll from death here. Oh, are, you, are you trying to retrieve the glass staff? <laughs> sure, this is such a good idea. If he notices, that's the third attack. We're dead. Yeah, you can <laughs> Let's just leave that thing alone. Oh, yeah, and he's going to look at it moving behind him and not realize what's happening. Come on. <laughs> I really don't want to go through the drill of creating a new character again. Yeah. A lot of work, so <laughs> let's like, try and go into I, I, I yell. I yell very angrily at Nevin, get the glass staff now. <laughs> Randall's <laughs> getting impatient off <laughs> Oh, man. <coughs> <laughs> man. Okay, so it's a very horrible are idea. <laughs> are, you, are you hiding from him? Um, yeah, I guess we'll say I'm hiding. <laughs> okay. So, okay. <laughs> so I I I'm going to tell the wizard that if you let me turn into direwolf form, I will go find him and drag him out to you. <laughs> he says, I'm patient. I can wait. <laughs> Not giving up his hostages. Uh, well, you, you can make a perception check against Sephira's stealth check. Also, wait, I see Nevin passing by. Um, I'll whisper for him to heal me. <laughs> <laughs> I can get the wizard. What's happening? Sorry, I was distracted for a you second. You can run faster than me anyways. I'm not going to run away from you. What what is this plan? You're gonna attack the wizard? Yes, the wizard Are you must kidding die. Me? He's not <laughs> close to dead. We already know that. He's beat well, up and not the thing is, well the thing <laughs> is idea. the thing is I can go in and I can cast Tasha's hideous laughter. Which and he'll have it? no control over anything. Unless he saves. Unless he <laughs> saves. Well, I wonder why you didn't do it before. I wasn't yeah. close enough. I wasn't anywhere near close enough. Uh, so as you guys are debating, you hear the, the wizard's uh, uh, voice boom. You might want to hurry. Your friend is dying. <laughs> <laughs> this, is, this is the thanks that I get. <laughs> when, when all of you were like dying and I stuck around until everyone was dead but me. And then I go down, you all just give up and let me die. <laughs> wow. Okay. He says, uh, give it to the zombie. And the zombie walks forward. Alright, so the zombie brings it back to the wizard who takes it and uh, he looks at the staff, you know, very uh, lovingly and longingly. And then he says to the rest of you, leave this place and never come back. And then he uh, vanishes. He turns invisible. Well, what happened to the zombies? <laughs> the zombies are still here, and uh, they are all going to disengage and start walking back towards the tower. And um, somebody might want to do something about Alex or he's going to die. Thank you. Oh, 
suppose I roll a uh, 1d4. Well, I think there's other people. Need, uh, no, we're about to him. leave. He just needs to get me alive. Yeah, but he he could just use one for that, and then use one on the the, the other guy there. With his face. I I also have gear. If we if we need more, I can cast also because I I am currently in wood elf. Well, I, uh, I think Sephira needs healing, right? Oh, I think we're about to travel a day's march to the place with the uh, with the banshee, yeah. so I think we'll have an opportunity to heal. What do we want to go to the banshee? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> this was a abject failure. <laughs> hey, we got information. We, we can tell the town's both. You know, he's just here for research. Don't worry. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <You're> good. <laughs> A harmless old man. <laughs> yeah, always return when we're a higher level. He's a he's a scholar and a gentleman. Yeah, we'll have to we'll have to come back at a higher level. Yeah. And Spear yeah, is not very happy. So while you downstairs, I think we we were supposed to. <laughs> while you guys are debating this, I'm just angry and waltzing away. <laughs> Wait, why are you angry? I mean, we just eat this. Yeah, I was, yeah, very close to dying while you guys were like, well, I don't know. <laughs> hey, we, 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 uh, gave up our fucking thing. I think everyone was very much okay with giving up. It was just the fear that didn't want to hand over the staff. <laughs> I was okay with that. I, I think you had the doubt. <laughs> I was okay with it, but I was kind of scared of him still turning on us because yeah. he does need zombies. Yeah, that's staff. that's the that's well, the. the Pira knows what's important about the staff. Yeah, that's oh. a good staff. Uh, so that was a uh, yeah. Yeah, we. I mean, it would have. It might have been in the long run that could have been a bad move, but for the short term, I think that was a good move to give. It no, to. that's fine for now. It's yeah. fine for now. My only yeah. worry was that he was going to kill you guys anyways, just for the extra zombie material. Right. The staff is worth more than four zombies. All right. So from that miserable encounter, um, everybody gets. Uh, <laughs> let's see. That was a total of two hundred experiences. So everybody gets forty. You killed for all that. Just forty. God damn it. <laughs> it's like wow. All right. So you're back out in the wilderness, having discovered that the old owl well is not a zombie army coming to kill the people of Phandalin, but just a zombie army looking for some ancient magic artifact. Yeah. Are we camping? We should camp. <laughs> I think a long rest is in order. Yeah. Agreed. And, uh, uh, where are we right now? You're at the old owl well. So are you going to camp by the owl well, or are you going to walk towards the honey bearing camp? Or? From it first. Can we, uh, Maybe get like how halfway long, there. How long uh, of a walk is to Coneyberry? It's about a day. Oh, uh, OK. So let's uh, walk a little bit away from the owl well, yeah. and then uh, rest somewhere over here. Do like yeah. half a day, half a day towards Carneyberry. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. All right, so you're still in, in the foothills. Um, you know, it's mostly rolling hills with grass and a few sparse trees. Oh, we should uh, keep uh, guard while we're resting too. Like, some oh, yeah. We should... um, uh, Yin Fan and I can do the half and half guarding. I think yeah, I, so I, I assume you, first. you find a hill with a you know good line of sight and some trees to take cover and set up camp there. Okay. All right, so. So Thassos will take first watch. Yeah. Uh, uh, let's not do. Uh, uh, let's not make campfire, <laughs> just in case, because uh, I I don't think we could afford to. Yeah. Fight again right now. <laughs> Keep it stealthy. Yeah. Okay.
Okay. Uh, what kind of, of um, plants are you looking for? Okay. So do a, a nature check. Okay. So unfortunately, you don't find anything. <laughs> you find lots of grass. <laughs> the grass looks very healthy. Yeah. Lots of grass and like oak trees and stuff. <laughs> okay, all right, so I'll go ahead and take your um, long rest actions. All right. Oh, uh, my exhaustion is uh, <coughs> to normal again then. Awesome. So the evening passes uneventfully, and uh, you wake up at dawn the next morning, and what would you like to do? Uh, head to the Coney Berry, I guess, right? <laughs> yeah, for another <laughs> misadventure. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, maybe this time mm. you won't try attacking the banshee. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, let's let's <laughs> talk for yeah. no rash decisions this time. <laughs> All right. So the town of Coneyberry was uh, destroyed um, several decades ago in a raid, and all that's left in the ground are you know a few marks that uh, show where the buildings once were, and everything is destroyed. So you go to the spot uh, where the sister told you that you can expect to find Agatha the Banshee at her house. And um, when you arrive there, um, it's still daylight out uh, because you camp halfway there. And um, you don't see anything. It's just uh, some ruins of the town. Are we supposed to be looking for some kind of family heirloom as a reward from the woodcutter's family as well? Uh, that's in Thunder Tree. All oh, right. There's no, uh, there's nothing of interest or anything weird or anything like that. Um, you can make a check if you want to see. Yeah. I do. Yeah, I'll make a check as well. Perception. Yeah. Okay. Oh well. Okay, so looking around the, the um, ruins, you can tell that it, it was a, a modest village and that it's been destroyed for a very long time and it looks like uh, the, the grasslands have just overtaken it and it looks completely untouched, like there haven't been any um, real animal or human presence in quite a while. No animals either? No. Okay, that's weird. There's probably a magical presence about yeah. this place. Yeah, I, I convey that information that nothing living has stepped in this uh, area for a very long time. It seems to me. It sounds a little magical to me. Yeah, that's not normal. Are we going to have a map for this? Um, no, it's just the Banshee. Okay. Well, I guess we should continue on. Theater of the mind. Okay. Well, if, I'm pretty sure that if we stayed here till the night, we'll probably run into the Banshee <laughs> at night. <laughs> if we want to do that. Um, yep. Well, if I'm you guys okay really want to deal with the Banshee, all right. Um, who was it that went to the Luck Shrine? I forgot. Was was that you, Chris? One of you talked to the sister because she's the one who gave you the quest. Oh, you okay? All right. So then you have uh, the silver comb that um, that she gave to you, and she told you to ask the banshee about the spell book. All right. So you're just gonna sit around and wait for wait wait for nightfall. Yeah, I think that's a, that's the plan. Okay, so <laughs> so as um, night uh, is starting to fall, the sun slides down uh, the sky, and it starts to get uh, cold, and you feel almost an unnatural coldness, and then um, 
you hear a total silence. Can you guys hear me? Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. I was muted for a sec there. Well, sounds oh, like it's oh, a, oh, a good time before, for a silence. Wait, before nightfall, can we... I find some leaves and stuff it into my ear. <laughs> <laughs> I can cast silence. Oh, okay. Okay, so how long does silence last? Um, I think it's um one minute or no, it's ten minutes, mm -hmm. and no sound can enter the radius. So I can cast it on us, and we can't hear any piercing shrieks. Right. That means that we can't talk to him either, though. I guess. No, but I'm saying that if everything goes fucking downhill, we can stay yeah. inside that and shoot and attack it without it being able to kill us with the power of sound. Mm -hmm. So. Okay. Well, I stuff my ears with leaves anyway. <laughs> All right, so you, you, you feel an unnatural coldness um, come over the area. Um, and then you hear the faint sound of whispers. And, uh, what are silence. they saying? <laughs> yeah. Is it saying you, anything? Or? You, you, you okay. can't tell. It's just like the voice is very faintly uh, uh, whispering. And um, as you're looking around, uh, you see a uh, ghostly form uh, rise from the ruins um, around you. And you behold the terrifying appearance of the Banshee. So it says um, everybody needs to make a DC 13 wisdom saving throw. Oh. Or you're frightened of her. Still doesn't get frightened. Maybe. Hopefully not. <laughs> Saving throw? That was, that was charisma. <laughs> Sorry. Oh. I, did, I did the wrong thing. So Thassos... Uh, no, no, no. That was charisma. That was charisma. Oh. Oh, oh wait. A <laughs> okay, no. I did 20. Oh, no way. I did not do well. Oh, my God. Oh, Jesus. Magic. You shit oh. your pants because of magic. Get it again. <laughs> wait, wait. So, so who failed? Um, only uh -oh. Grendel failed? Grendel, yeah. Okay. All right. So Grendel screams like a little girl. <laughs> she gets up. He starts running away. <laughs> Uh, and the rest of you, uh, you know, behold the, the terrifying uh, presence of the Banshee. And uh, she um, turns and stares at you, and she, and she said, what are you doing here? Nevin? All right, uh, she uh, moves towards you uh, with her hand out, and um, her hand closes around the comb, and she looks at it um, almost as if she remembers uh, uh, what the comb is, and, and um, she turns to you and she says, thank you. And she says, uh, the spell book I remember, um, I traded to a necromancer named Cerna. Uh, wow. Uh, over a hundred years ago. Oh. So that's the answer that you have. Fair enough. Uh, and then she takes the comb and uh, and she disappears. Um, you can make an arcana check. Well, I'm guessing that Smirnoff is our spider dude. I guess I'll make an arcana check as well, just to see if I know anything about it. Why not? I'll do one. Grendel will do one also, even though... Nope. <laughs> <He's>... <laughs> Arcana at negative one. I might have known this dude. I've been around a minute. Negative two. Recall something about um, this uh, wizard, Cerna, uh, that he was uh, a necromancer uh, far in the east. So it's exactly our guy. No, not really. Did anyone bother to check what race this this necromancer that just whooped our ass was? He was a wizard from Thay. He was a human. Human. Okay, so he's human. Okay. He was, he was from the East. Unless, too, wasn't unless, he? unless he's magically, you know, whatever. This one is not a hundred years old. If he was a hundred years old, he would have killed all of you. <laughs> uh, 
<laughs> Great, so let's go find the one that is. Okay. Yeah. So, uh, you, you find Grendel, um, you know, about 300 feet away, uh, curled up in a little ball and crying. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> I grab Grendel by the by his shirt and I just slap him out of it. Is it gone? Is it gone? Man. And I tell him to man up. And I tell him to nut up or shut up. <laughs> and then I offer him a straw and a can of man. <laughs> and I often tell him to go get himself a, a cup of concrete and harden the fuck up. <laughs> and I tell him, like, you keep going or you can get on his fucking feet. <laughs> fucking insult to injury, man. Pull out my, Rindle, I pull out my Rindle, iPhone and start recording and, Okay. He, he like starts walking. It's like, I'll go full metal jacket on you. Probably <laughs> <laughs> oh. <I> needed it. <laughs> um, so, well, what would you guys like to do? It's early evening. Not sleep here. Nah. Let's travel. Where's that map again? Oh, so, do we think that this is the guy? Who's in Wave Echo Cave, or do we think that this is the guy who just kicked our ass? It would seem like an awful, uh, strange story. coincidence, yeah, if it was the same guy from all this old out well. I mean, it might be from the same organization or something. Right. Well, I, we could, I think it's from the same organization, but it's definitely a good I say we uh, travel to this Zin uh, Lino as a, a, a waylay to Thunder Tree, maybe? Why don't we just take the path to Thunder Tree? It's, it's going to be safer, I would think. I think we should go to I think we should go to Fanolin first to report our findings. Yeah, I agree with that actually. Okay. Okay, so um, you can travel back to Fanolin along the Tribor Trail. Um, is that the way you want to do it, or you want to go through the wilderness? I would vote for the trail. Yeah, the trail sounds best. Okay. All right. So you make it back to Fanolin in about three days' time. And uh, no encounters. No, um, you don't encounter anything along the trail. So you return uh, to the village um, to find that uh, reinforcements have arrived uh, from Neverwinter, and uh, Sildar now has um, them guarding the town. So uh, when you return, um, he meets you out in the town green, and uh, he asked you, uh, what did you think? Hey, I'm changing my uh, uh, hit points. Sorry? Yeah, I don't know. My, uh, my uh, health bar max keep changing to my old max. I don't know why. The token is different. But oh, it's if, a different token. Yeah, it's a different token for each sheet, but it should be uh, your character. See. So that's kind of weird. Yeah. Oh, on this one it's not. It's not linked to HP here. Okay. Well, right. So who are we talking to again? Uh, to Sildar. Sildar. So I tell I tell him we found <laughs> we found the, the necromancer. He's a some bitch. And. Yeah, but he doesn't seem to have any designs on Fandolin. It was just really how the romance were unable to defeat him. Let's put it that way. Okay, and then he asks you, well, what about the orcs? And he asks you, do you know what they were doing in that cave? They were dying, but they were doing. All right, he looks very disappointed. Uh, but he says, well, I ha I th thank you for checking. I have things under control in the city now. And he gives you a, a reward of 200 gold uh, for clearing out the orcs um, at Wyvern Tor. So that's uh, 40 gold per person. Cool. So that was like the disappointed father I never had. Nothing <laughs> <laughs> seems to make this guy happy. Every time I open my mouth, he's just like, because he keeps wanting you to bring people back alive, and you keep killing them. <laughs> Damn, an assassin. Don't hire assassins for anything but what work. 
right, so he, he says, uh, I, uh, I've uh, received reinforcements uh, from Neverwinter, and I believe that the town is now secure. Uh, I, I need you to find out uh, what happened to Gundren Rockseeker and find the entrance to the um, lost mines of Fandelver. So uh, he suggests that you go to, uh, and he offers to pay you uh, richly if you manage to uh, bring Gundren back, and this time he emphasizes a lie. He'll pay you 500 gold. But what, what, what's what the reward this? for dead? I, I, what is this mine thing about? I, I, I mean, besides the fact that it's the name of this. Oh, okay. So um, the um, the wizard, uh, the glass staff wizard, had told you that his master um, captured the dwarf and managed to find the uh, map to the lost mine of Fandelver, which contains the wave echo chamber, which has the spell forage, which allows uh, the wizards to greatly amplify their power. Uh, okay. So that seems to be what he's after. Okay. Is, does that have anything to do with the star that crashed? I don't know. Maybe. <laughs> Whatever. If I was going to ask just reveal plot points, I would ask him which encounters were going to kill us first. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Clearly, doesn't give a shit. It's like a place to find fantasy over here. All right. Well, how about we send Nevin back into the Shrine of Luck to report and see and see what uh, see what the priestess there has to say about what we found out from the band. Okay. So um, the sister is very grateful when you report to her um, that um, the the book was traded to the necromancer, and she says that um, that's enough for her to continue her search. Um, so. Uh, you get um, 200 experience points, so everybody gets 40 experience points. Okay. All right, so. Uh... And he doesn't. Uh, from so far, it was just gold. Just to. Uh, um, yeah, you got gold from from so far. Just to clarify, like uh, uh, Sildar or whatever, he doesn't know where this uh, castle thing is, right? He doesn't know where Cragmaw Castle is, uh, but yeah. Farmer Alderleaf had suggested that Radoff the Druid would know, and that he is in the ruins of Thunder Tree. All right, so we should go to Thunder Tree, I guess. Yeah, let's head out. Yeah. Okay. Bottle box. Fortunately, it's on the way. Oh, so, do we? Do you guys need to buy anything while we're in town? Not me. Hmm. Yeah, I don't think I need anything either. Actually, yeah. I think I'll buy two health potions. Okay. Do I have any health potions? Oh wait, you could buy health potions here. Yeah, uh, they're they're fifty gold each. Uh, I'll buy I I'll buy a couple also then. All right. That's good to exactly. I will buy. I'll buy two also. What the heck? So hundred, right? That's a hundred gold for the yeah. two. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. The Sleeping Giant? Um, no, you would be buying them at the Lion Shield Coster. Oh, you want to go to the Sleeping Giant. Okay. So it's a rundown, um, you know, dingy bar, which is not in good shape, and uh, there's nobody patronizing it now because uh, all the red brands are gone, and all of Sildar's men are staying with him in the Stone Hill Inn. It's almost completely empty. So in other words, the, in other words, it's happy hour all night long. Except the MT, yeah. <laughs> in other words, we took away their only source of business. <laughs> well, well, they well, had they the had, red brand. They had the red brand. 
Well, I think we should all collectively patronize this this bar and, and get drunk <laughs> together. I am. Grendel is all for that. Yeah. <laughs> uh... After that run-in with the uh, yeah, we need a stiff, we need a stiff <laughs> drink. Yeah, we need some downtime. Does anybody have any objections to getting drunk at the Sleeping Giant? I have no uh, objections. Safira doesn't plan to get drunk. Uh, figures. <laughs> oh my gosh, you guys are so boring. <laughs> I'll right. join you. Grendel will join you. Well, me and Grendel are getting drunk. Like, I'm trying to get other people drunk. So are you going to stay at the Sleeping Giant overnight? Uh, yeah. Yeah, I'll do the same. Okay. Yeah. All right, so you wake up uh, hungover the next morning, and uh, you notice that you have a bunch of uh, uh, bite marks from bed bugs. <laughs> oh. <laughs> And possibly from fleas. Oh, lovely. Good eh. thing I don't sleep. Hey, I'm sure Grendel has uh, dealt with worse while yeah. being nomadic. Right. And, you know, look, Thassos is frequently a wolf, so he's, he's used to this. Yeah. It's not a big deal. Well, now you're my drinking buddy, man. You yeah. You responded. <laughs> yes, right on. <laughs> Uh, she tells you that they only have one kind of drink, and that's their <laughs> ale. I drink a lot of those. <laughs> okay, it tastes horrible. <laughs> and watered down. Horrible and watered down. That's, <laughs> that's a serious combo. Yeah, it's like watered down with bad tasting water. <laughs> oh, man. Mm -hmm. So basically, Budweiser. <laughs> it's like Budweiser with dirty water in it. <laughs> yeah, so, so, so you mean Budweiser. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly, exactly. <laughs> so I guess Sophia is just going to do just gonna, just gonna do her regular nightly rituals and go to sleep in the proper room in Stonehill Inn. Okay. All right, so you guys wake up the next morning uh, with your bug bites, and uh, you're ready to go. So right. uh, looking back at the map, um, Sildar suggests that you just take the road back to Neverwinter and then proceed up the Neverwinter River to the ruins of Thunder Tree. Okay. Sounds yeah. like a plan. So Thunder Tree was a small village on the Neverwinter River that was uh, destroyed 30 years ago um, during the eruption of a volcano, uh, which caused strange uh, phenomenon to happen in the village. So Radoff the Druid is supposed to be in Thunder Tree researching uh, these strange phenomena. What are the, sorry, what are the strange phenomena? Uh, the townspeople don't tell you what they are. Just the uh, strange things. And he's just there. researching. Yeah. Oh, this is actually a town. It's not a ruin. No, it is a ruin. It's a ruin of a village. And what townspeople? Uh, the townspeople in Vandalin. Oh, Vandalin. Oh. Yeah. We're still in Vandalin. Uh, well, now now you're on your now you're on your way to Thunder Tree. Um, so you arrive in Thunder Tree. Which I hope I set the lighting up properly, but we're about to find out. Looks pretty good. Wait, no. It, it's too dark, right? It's not supposed to be dark. Could be nighttime. Global dimension. Okay, there we go. Oh, there we go. There we are. Mm. All right, so um, the village contains a number of crumbling buildings in various states of disrepair. And. Um, mm -hmm. It looks like it uh, hasn't been lived in for a long time. Um, there's a lot of uh, wild growth around, um, but there's also um, tracks uh, crisscrossing through the village. Tracks, okay. What kind um, of tracks? You can make a nature check. 
Um, and it looks like more than one kind of track. Okay, Badger. All right, so, oops. Didn't we decide that actually survival is the right check for tracks? Yeah. I think we had this issue last week, didn't we? Oh, okay. Then do survival. All right, I'm doing it. <laughs> All right, so that's enough to tell that you're dealing with more than one type of track. Okay. Uh, like human, humanoid, or animal? Uh, one of them you can tell is human, and the other ones is something you've never seen before. Of course, that doesn't matter when you're dealing with a druid. So, um, is there a visible inn in this rundown, pretty much destroyed town? Um, as it so, so happens, um, sitting right in front of you is the old I mean, tavern. Zephyr is going to be oh, oh, Okay, then um, Alex can tell that uh, uh, the other set of tracks uh, belong to something that is uh, uh, a plant creature. Huh. And there seem to be quite a lot of those. Plant creature? Interesting. That's cool. Gambling mounds? Something that's what? <laughs> yeah, Creeps so Zephyr is going to start making her way towards the inn. Okay. So um, there's a sign on the outside um, identifying this building as the Brown Horse Inn. All right. So uh, I guess I'll try and make my way in. OK, so you're going to open the door? Yep, I'll open the door, right. slowly, quietly. I ready my ax just in case. Now, we don't have any reason to think that this druid is aggressive, right? Or hostile? No, no. he's on no. friendly I mean, terms with the people. How, how the about, first, well, I mean, you're a druid. Around here. Yeah, how, about, how about we just, like... Uh, Druids, generally speaking, tend to be neutral and alignment. Oh, by the way, the, the humanoid tracks, uh, can, I, can we actually follow it, or is it, like, kind mm -hmm. of... All, I should be able to yeah. follow it with a nat 20. Yeah. Um, they're, they're throughout the village. So it looks like uh, somebody was walking around all over the place. Yeah. So I'm sorry, I didn't catch because cut out for me. What kind of tracks? There's human tracks throughout the village. Yeah. And going and all else? around everywhere. So it's not. Uh, it's not. It doesn't appear to be leading anywhere. It's, it's not, not a single anywhere. set. It's somebody has been here and they've been walking around quite a bit. Hold on. Isn't there a druid language? Something yeah, it's called druid. Yeah. There is, right? Oh, yeah. yeah, you know Druidic, the secret language of Druids. Okay, let me go first. Yeah. I was going to say also, maybe check around and see if there's any Druidic symbols, because Druids are yeah, like yeah, yeah. territory. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I look around for Druidic symbols. Okay. Um, you Druid don't see any, <laughs> any Druidic symbols on um, the inn. What about, like, on the trees and, like, kind of just at least, like, on the exterior of the other buildings that I can see? see what you can see. Um, from where you are, you don't see anything. Okay. <laughs> And what's what's the druid's name again? Radoth. Radoth. So I, I'm just going to yell out in, in druidic, Radoth, we come in peace. Okay, so while you're yelling that, uh, Nevin is rummaging through the bushes. And Sephira, are you opening the door or yes. you're going to wait? No, stealthily opening up the door. I okay, so roll a stealth check. <clears throat> Well, actually, I can't. I can't really say it's stealthy because uh, we have someone yelling out to a druid. <laughs> yeah. How about I ready an action and uh, draw my bow and point it at the door? All right. Yeah, and I have my axe ready also. Okay, so as you open the door, uh, light streams into the um, inn, and you see what happened to the townspeople, and uh, oh. it seems that. They were transformed by the uh, volcanic explosion 30 years ago into ash zombies. So they're covered in um, soot and ash. And with and that, I believe my reaction, I release and fire an arrow. OK, so um, everybody roll for initiative, and we'll do the initiative order. OK, but um, I had a ready to action, so. 
Yeah, I think I think ready to action can go. Not it doesn't have to be your turn to go. Yeah. Oh well, it doesn't matter, I guess. Yeah. <clears throat> okay, so um, oh. <laughs> I actually got a 19. You know that's almost impossible for zombies because they have such a low uh, ah. thing. Um, but in any case, um, you guys get to surprise them and go first, um, except that. As Nevin is rummaging through the plants, making a bunch of noise, he notices that some of the plants also start moving. The plants start moving? The plants start moving. Yeah, there was plant people around that. Well, I feel like that's a good sign. Oh, you think it's the uh, druid? Probably. I don't think a druid can. Well, yeah, he oh, can yeah. bring plants. Oh yeah, he can. Yeah. Oh my God, uh, yeah. Alex! I just uh, noticed that you rolled two. <laughs> yeah. <You're sure>. I <laughs> know. I'm not proud of it. That's kind well, of amazing. I mean, like, what's the? That's. That's one in four hundred chance you do that. <laughs> okay, so the zombies are surprised. Um, so Thassos uh, can go first. Uh, okay, so I will. Um, I say we bottleneck them at the door. Yeah. You could also just close the door on them. <laughs> it's up to you. Okay. Um, shoot. I forget, can I stand on Sephira's square or not? You can't share the same square, but you can pass through it. I vote you don't, don't enter. Yeah, I don't think it makes sense for me to enter. Um, Just attack over me. I'm short. Um, well, I'd rather like, get shape-shifted and get my bark skin scout spell going. Um, and maybe get just kind of get into a position right behind you to where you can you can yeah get, like stand next to the door yeah you can get past me and and but I'll be there to kind of tank it up so I'm going to um, cast bark skin on myself as an action so that brings my armor class sixteen and then I will go ahead and cast the bear form was it brown bear I think and then um, I will move. Right there, um, and then that's that's my turn. Okay. All right. Um, Nevin is up next. So you see the trees in front of you starting to come to life, as the other guys are all fighting the zombies and they're distracted behind you. Uh, they look upset that you were rummaging through their home. Just, just apologize. <laughs> okay. Are you going to do anything else? Y you could... You, you could, could ready, an ready an attack. Yeah, like, like, ready an action. You could fire example. an arrow in there with advantage. I don't know if he has a line of sight. On your way Wait. past. Why does oh, he have an advantage? You can do it on your way past. Yeah, that's a good point. And you can move again. Yeah, and you complete the rest of your movement. And split up your movement. Yeah, yeah, there. Fire your shot and then keep going. Wait, why does he get an uh, advantage in that? Well, we got surprised. Oh, right, right, right. Okay. Ooh. Nice. I don't think surprise gives you advantage. It just gives you a free turn. Oh, yeah, I think you're right. I think yeah. you're right, yeah. 
Anyway, it's that 20, I'm sure. Yeah, but that's definitely a hit. All right, so we, um, you hit the one in front, and as you um, hit it with the arrow, you all notice that a giant ash cloud um, comes uh, out of the zombie and fills the space around it. OK. So now it's the um, angry tree people's turn. Oh. And uh, they come shambling out of the... Oh, um, so they are attacking us. And now you see more of them coming out of the adjacent houses. Hmm. And uh, we, I assume that we notice them by now, right? Yeah, you can definitely see them. They, they can't really reach you except for the pair that um, um, are near Alex. This you know what? Maybe we should deja vu with maybe that maybe we maybe we should enter the inn, bottleneck the door against the plant creatures, and just deal with whatever zombies are inside. <laughs> Uh, we could like go in, and close the door. Yeah. Yeah. But then we got to deal with four zombies close range. Uh, so, is, is that better than dealing with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight plant people? <clears throat> I mean, we could just close the door on the zombies for now and deal with the plant people. It, yeah, we have two choices: go in Actually, the building. I think that attacking the tree people may anger the druid. I don't know for sure. Let's go into that building and just deal with the uh, zombies. Yeah. Close the door behind us, and uh, I guess someone. While we deal with, while four of us deal with the zombies, one of us should like try to jam the like bar the door somehow so it, they don't come in. Yeah. Yeah, you can definitely close the door. Um, so the two, um, I got it. Tree creatures attacked Yin Fan. Yeah, I, I did it. Okay, and then Grendel is up next. So that's the plan, right? Are, uh -huh. Or are we gonna attack the? Uh, get inside. Get inside. To get inside. I, yeah. I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna attack the zombies. Oh, I'm gonna rage, by the way, also. Okay. Uh, are you attacking the one that's damaged or the one to your right? Uh, one that's damaged. Okay. Do you want to go one more square in? Just we're all gonna have oh, to kind yeah. of squeeze in there. Oh, but then I'll get an opportunity attack, right? No, no, no only no. if you move away. Okay. If you're still yeah, adjacent you to them, outside you can... of their range. Yeah, you can slide around them. Cool. Uh... There you go. So that is definitely a hit. And as you um, slice it with your no, axe... Plus two more, two more. So seven points, not four. Okay. So as you slice it with your axe, a giant um, ash cloud comes uh, billowing out uh, from the zombie. Uh, so make a DC 10 constitution saving throw. Oh, man. Oh, gosh, they're going to suffocate us. Yeah, something like that. My constitution's pretty good, though, so I'm... Yeah. Okay. So you uh, almost uh, on the um, on the app, managed to cover your mouth and eyes in time. And Sephira is up. All right. Does anybody so, have uh, any gust of wind spells or anything like that? Yeah. No, no gust of wind. Not up. Okay. So I'm gonna fire off an eldritch blast at the injured zombie. Okay. All right. And that is enough to destroy the zombie. So you knock it off. Okay. okay. And Randall, how many zombies are in there? What's that? How many zombies do you see in there? Uh, there One, two, are three, four. four five left. All right. So five that's left. good enough for me. Okay. All right. Um, Yin Fan is up next. Okay. Um, I'm going to 
spend a key point to cast uh, Step the Wind as a bonus action, which gives me, you know, disengage as a bonus. Then I'm going to move into here, and I'm going to attack this zombie right next to me. Okay. And that is still a hit. Mm. Wow. These zombies are pretty... Uh, so as you strike it, an uh, uh, ash cloud comes uh, billowing out. Uh, so Yin Fan and Rendell make a constitution check, or saving throw, rather. Right? Okay, so Grendel shrugs it off, but uh, Yin Fan is choking on the ash cloud. Um, so you have a disadvantage on your uh, next attack. Okay. Okay, um, so next round. Um, why are the zombies first? The monster's always supposed to go last. Okay, so Thassos is up. Okay, so um, now when we close the door on these tree people, there's going to be like a strength check, right, to keep the door shut? Um, if they want to open the door. Yeah, if they care to come in. <clears throat> they may not want to go into your zombie-infested in. Do you think I should risk risk that, or do you think I should stand by the door? I mean, I have 19 strength and bear form, uh, so... Well, I mean, are these boulders over here? Maybe we could just stack them against the door. It's just a uh, ruined debris. Well, that's that's also yeah. You could use it to um, shore up the door. Yeah. So why don't you do that while we take care of these zombies? Let's make sure everyone's inside first. Yeah. Well, that's. I mean, after yes. <laughs> okay. So I will. Let's see. If I move here, am I on anybody right there? No. No. Okay. So and ready, um, ready that action. Yeah. To, yeah. I can ready the action to uh, move the debris in front of the door once Nevin gets inside. Okay. So Nevin, you're up. Yeah, but you can move through me. All right, so you slam the door shut, uh, locking everybody in with the zombies, and then you start uh, piling up debris in front of the door. Sorry, which one? The one on top? Oh, that one. Okay. That door is closed, isn't it? No, it's open. Oh. I didn't bother closing the interior doors because I think okay. it's worth it. Uh, so that's a hit for five. And as you hit it, um, an ash cloud comes billowing out of it, but nobody's standing next to it, so that's good. Um, and now it is the zombie's turn. Um, so the two zombies next to Grendel are going to or wait, this zombie will move forward towards Grendel, and this zombie will move towards Yin Fan, and this zombie will move towards... Who's in the door? Is that Sephira? No, that's... Uh, Nevin. Uh... Oh, that's Nevin. Okay. All right, so one is going to attack Nevin, two will attack Grendel, and two will attack Yin Fan. So let me roll for that. I have resistance against uh, whatever they're doing. Against zombies? <laughs> Against <laughs> uh, basically every physical attack. Yeah, it, it is bludgeoning. Okay, so uh, Nevin, Grendel, Grendel, Yin Fan, Yin Fan. Jesus, Josh. <laughs> Ooh. Ouch. All right, the first one hits wait, wait, me wait. for nine. I think, well, oh, it's another critical. <laughs> so, which, which, which rolls are for me? 
Um, it was Nevin, Grendel, Grendel, you know, okay. fan, fan. So I got, I got hit the 14 once. and the 21. I got hit once uh, for three points. Yep. <laughs> the fan might want to play dead, though. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Josh, no what are you doing, man? <laughs> <laughs> hey, I, I didn't tell you guys to, to rummage through the, the woods at the same time that you were opening the door. <laughs> we just have bad luck. All right, yeah, Grendel's up next. All right, I am... I'm, at this point, I'm going on a frenzy because they're surrounding me. So I got two attacks, and I'm still raging. So... Kill the one that's like uh, right in front of you and fan, if you can. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. This this guy, right? Yeah. 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 Uh, I'm gonna attack that guy. That's a hit. That's a hit. Okay, so nine points. Okay. And then he's I'm gonna attack ash, So he's not gonna ash again. Okay. I'm gonna uh, attack again. Try to kill that guy. Uh, that's a miss, probably. The same guy, yeah, that's a miss, unfortunately. Okay, Sophia is up next. I'm just going to shoot an Eldritch Blast to the one in front of uh, Yin Fan. Okay. Ooh, nice. And that is enough to tear a hole straight through its chest and um, put it... Well, oh, no, wait, it's a zombie. It's oh, a yeah. Zombie throw. you got to do the Constitution Cross. Actually, come to think of it, I think you haven't been doing that with the zombies, right? <laughs> um, yeah, I haven't been doing it on a lot of them. Let's see. Well, I guess that's a good thing for us. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, otherwise you'd really be dead. <laughs> oh, is that enough? How much damage did you do? Eight? I did eight. Oh, no, yeah, that's just nine. barely a fail. Okay, so you tear a hole in his chest and it goes down. Okay. Um, Yin up. Wait, is DC save like the number of uh, damage you do? It's five plus the damage, so you need to overkill it by a lot, basically. Okay. Um, I gotta cool off that healing potion I've been carrying around. Okay, so I think it's two D four plus. Is it plus one or plus two? I don't remember. Oh, it's plus two. Yeah, I think it's plus two. Nice. Alright, so um, plus seven, and then um, I guess that's my turn. Yeah. Okay. Um, so Thassus is up next. Okay, so the rubble is in front of the door now, right? Yes. Okay, so I'll go ahead and um, sorry, make it a little bigger. I'll go ahead and move up here, and uh, I will take my first attack against the zombie right in front of me. And that is definitely a hit. So it goes claws. All right. So as you rake your claws across it, um, a giant cloud of ash comes off. He said it's a constitution saving. Yeah, thing. yeah. Hold on, his constitution. Which Yin Fan, who is already hacking away, manages to avoid. All right, sorry. I to update my constitution. That only right, counts for, like, the next two. attack, right? Yeah. Dang it. Why is it not working for me? Sorry, I don't know why this isn't working. Give me one sec. Oh, I'll take the first one. Okay, okay, so you managed to avoid it. Uh, and then my second attack will be on the same one. Okay, so okay. here's the light. All right. All right, so you managed to tear a section of its thigh out, and it looks like it's in pretty bad shape. And uh, Nevin's up.
Yeah. yeah. Uh, I don't think we need it. Sweet. So that's a bonus action, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So you could still attack. Yeah. Well. Yeah, I think if you uh, just like uh, uh, drop your bow, I think you can do that as a free action, right? Yeah, drawing yeah. a weapon counts as a free action. If you were to stow your bow, that would be your free action. But if you just let go and he's grabbing. Yeah. Well, I think you could just drop it and then draw your sword. As yeah, like I you're don't think as dropping you're it your sword uh, counts as your main uh, hands. You drop the bow with your offhand. Yeah. Okay. And that's a hit. Minus three. Okay. Uh, and the zombies are up. So this time they are going to attack um, Nevin, Grendel, Grendel, and Thassos. So that's Nevin, Grendel, Grendel, Thassos. Do you round down or do you uh, round up when you do half down? Rounds are down. Yeah, in yeah, general, probably. unless um, the rules state specific way to round up, it's always round okay. down. Okay, yeah. so then one point of damage. Yeah. I like this resistance thing with the rage. <laughs> yeah, that's fine. Okay, so zombies are done. Uh, the twig people take their turn. And now it's Grendel's turn. All right, I'm going to attack uh, this guy over here. And I get two attacks of that. Ooh. That's actually a miss. Yeah, I, well, I, I technically critical failed. <laughs> and that's a hit. Uh, so 17. OK, so minus 17. And so you chop off one of its arms and make a constitution saving throw. And also Nevin make a constitution saving throw. Okay, so you managed to avoid the effects, um, but uh, Grendel is overwhelmed by a cloud of ash. What does that mean? And you have disadvantage on your next oh, okay. turn. Okay, uh, Sephira is up next. So I'm going to cast Eldritch Blast on this guy here. Okay. And right. that is enough to strike it in the head, and now it needs to make a saving throw. Wait, who needs to make a saving throw? The zombie, to see if it can oh. survive or not. Well, I guess and I it does. So you blow off half of its face, uh, but it manages to cling to its own life. That's like one hit point, right? Yeah, with one hit point. And Ian Fan is up. Okay, so does this disadvantage work for one attack, or does it work for this one turn? It was for one turn, so you're, you've recovered from your thing, okay, because you yeah. drank your potion last turn. All right, well then, um, I will stab at the zombie in front of Thassos. Okay. So that is a hit. Uh, and let's see if it goes down. All right, how much damage did you do? Four? Four. So it, that's nine. And the zombie manages to remain standing as you pull your sword out of it. And then I kick it in the nuts. <laughs> Yay. So that's another four. God damn it. Oh, wow. It's saving me. It apparently doesn't care about his nuts. <laughs> it doesn't at all. Wow. Uh. 
right, uh, Thassos is up next. All right. Well, I'll go ahead and take my shot at the uh, amazingly less, resilient zombie. Yeah. Not less zombie. <laughs> Sorry, my surface pen is like not doing well. Okay, so we'll start with claws. All right, so that's nine. <laughs> oh, so you bite its hand off, uh, but it's still alive. Or you right. claw its hands off, but uh, it's still alive. We'll go again. All right, and here comes bite. Uh, that's your cube bite. Oh, gosh. Okay, well, yeah, of course. <laughs> so you rip a chunk of flesh out, and it's still alive. <laughs> wow. <laughs> yeah, it's, like, <laughs> it's just a flesh wound. Yeah. <laughs> All right, Nevin is up next. Good idea. So that is a hit uh, for five points of damage. Okay, still standing. All right, so now it's the zombie's turn. Uh, so they will attack um, Nevin, Grendel, Grendel, and Thassos. All right, so that's a three points of damage. Three points of damage. Um, yeah, I think that is a critical fail. Yeah, that's a critical fail. And the one on Thassos is a miss. Okay, so Tree People and Grendel. I attack this guy again. That's hurt. Um, uh, 12. Okay. Um, so 12 should be enough to kill it, unless it makes a saving throw. Don't do it. 6, 11. Let's see. Jesus, <laughs> you, you jerk, Josh. <laughs> so you creep into it with your axe, and it staggers backwards. And then All right, I'm gonna attack again then. Hopefully, Josh I'll get down this time. awesome rolls. So 13, oh, 13 points. Oh, 13. Okay, so 13 plus 5, 18. So I mean, 18 or higher. Yes, okay. finally. Right, so it goes down. <laughs> you split its head open, and it's down. Okay, Sapira. Okay, so this time I'm going to cast hex on this zombie here. Okay. And uh, now I'm going to use my Eldritch Blast and hopefully get rid of it. Ooh, yeah, that looks good. Yeah. So 14. 14. So that's... 19. Josh. Josh. Well, 19 <laughs> or higher, right? No. All right, so and, that's... Yeah. Finally, that stupid resilient zombie. There's a zombie in part. <laughs> awesome. I do think it's immune to necrotic, though, but that doesn't matter. Uh, and then on my next turn, the hex will move over to this zombie. Okay. All right, um, Yun Fan's up. Hmm. I am going to attack this dude. And that is a hit. Who? Oh, wait, no, that's... You don't have enough damage. Just the first, yeah. So 13. Uh, well, the first one uh, hits, and then you make the saving throw. I mean, it's going to hit no matter what for the second one. But um, Grendel and Yin Fan will need to make a saving throw for the Ash Cloud. So minus five. Jeez, my rolling like saving throw horribly. Ooh. Suck it. All right, so Grendel starts uh, choking on so I get disadvantage next round, right? Yeah. Or and this round, I guess. That's us is up. Okay. Um, just a question. If I move here, do I take? Wait, you can't move to. Uh, you can't move to. Right? I cannot get there. Yeah, you can't get there because okay. enemies, right? You could know. get here though and still yeah. reach the zombie. Yeah, here. you could you could go to that corner and you can reach okay. through the door. Okay, so I'll go ahead and attack the zombie that's through the door then. Um, uh, 
That's a hit. Oh, oh that's, that's a, a critical. That's a critical hit. He doesn't even get a saving throw. Well, don't I get double damage on this? Yeah, double damage. All right. If so. you kill him, then he won't get a saving throw. That's what. Oh, nice. So going with claws first time, claws second time, uh, claws second time. Okay. So oh, that's you, enough. Look, you rip the poor zombie in half. Nice. And it's dead. I don't so Mr. Poor zombie. You don't you get a second attack? Yes, I get move. a second attack. You should move and yeah, I can. That's a good point. So I can just move to right here, yeah. and do the second attack on the remaining. Thank you for reminding. Yeah. Um, all right, so that's a hit, and this will be bite. So another ten points of damage. Okay, so the zombie looks pretty beat up. And Wait, that was ten points of damage. Did he take the thirteen damage I did earlier? I don't think you did thirteen damage. Did you? Yeah, okay. yeah, he got a critical hit on. Um, no, I think he had. No, because I got attacks. five damage, and then I did seven damage. So, so it was thirteen 12. damage total. No, no, that was the guy that you killed over here, right? No, I attacked him. Oh. But isn't it twelve damage? Five plus seven. Right, twelve. Yeah. So and, and then I like did that 10. ten looked like most of like a half of his hit points right there. So does he have more than twenty two hit points, Josh? No, he has exactly twenty two hit points. Okay. Oh. Then he okay. Should, so then my my shot should have killed him, and he does what? The saving throw. He's got to roll five or something. Yeah. Five. Yeah. Well, the damage was ten. So yeah, he made it. Yeah. Okay, so zombie is up next. Uh, so the zombie is going to swing at Thassos. And that is a hit for two points. Oh, wait, wait. I think Nevin... Oh, was Nevin was up first. Never mind. Oh, okay. <laughs> Sorry. All right, Nevin, kill him yeah. off. Hopefully you kill him before that happens. I got saved by the bell, potentially. As he's moving towards... Yeah. So okay. that's a hit, and let's see what his. So six seven. or higher, right? Seven, I think. Seven or higher. Yeah. All right, so he staggers uh, back to life, and then it's the zombie's turn. So he will turn and attack Nevin. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right, um, so Grendel's up. Uh, well, um, two attacks on him. Miss, I guess. That's a miss. That's a hit, though. 14. Yeah. Nice. 14 points. So 19 or higher, then, right? Oh. Oh, come on, man. What is wrong with you? <laughs> so you lodge your, your axe in its chest, uh, but it still manages to cling to life. Uh, Sephira is up. All right. So I'm going to use Eldritch Blast. Oh, that's pretty solid too. And uh, I'll calculate in the uh, the hex as well now. Thirteen. <laughs> <laughs> you jerk. <laughs> all right. All right, you're and done. It's all up to I'm you. I'm gonna move in here. Okay. All right, uh, you're bad as that. And that is a hit. Four points. Another four. Still alive. <laughs> all right. Wow. Why all oh, fours? Jesus. <laughs> Still oh, alive. God. <laughs> you guys are just stabbing it and punching it. And everything. <laughs> it doesn't die. It doesn't There's a punching die. bag. <laughs> Why won't you die? All right. That's what's up here. So, first attack. <laughs> All right, so here that comes an XP for the zombie. Yeah, you do good damage, so I, I, yeah. All there right, so he's got to roll a twenty. 20. He's got to roll a twenty. Watch him roll a twenty. Uh, All right, man. so you tear the zombie apart, and now they're all dead. At least he wasn't shooting out a uh, ash for every time we hit him. Yeah, that's true. All right, <laughs> before we go out there, we should uh, uh, try to. 
converse with those three people and try to calm them down, maybe. <laughs> I'm going to actually get more into looting. Okay. All right. Um, let me just get to this page. Is there a second doorway in this next room? Looks like it, huh? There, oh, that goes outside. Yeah, it, it goes outside. Well, that could be useful still. Yeah, yeah we could get out there. Out. While they're doing that, I'm going to uh, try to be a diplomat here. Hey, tree people, we come in peace. Do you Should... speak tree? Oh, oh, the, uh, well, I, I speak common and see if they could understand me. Uh, I don't open the door, of course, but I try to converse towards the door. Yeah, I could well, actually. Could try, yeah, I could go. try speaking in Druidic. Well, if somebody would like to dust the ashy windows and look out, you can see what you see. Okay. Oh, I didn't know there were windows. Oh, I, I didn't okay. know where. No, 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 you didn't tell us nothing about no windows. The, the windows are covered in ash, but there's windows along. Um, we'll dust the, wall the shit out of okay. those things. Okay. Uh, so okay. yeah, I do exactly what you said. Okay, so as you uh, peer out, um, it looks like the tree people have gone. Okay. Okay. So, so do nobody, I find nobody, any uh, any significant loot? So uh, looking through the uh, ruins here, you can see that this was once uh, the town uh, inn and tavern, and um, there's uh, um, a kitchen in this room, um, along with some ruins of uh, brewing vats and some you know kitchen utensils and. Uh, plates and things like that. Uh, but the volcano eruption was 30 years ago, so everything is in extreme disrepair and coated in a thick layer of ash. And there doesn't appear to be anything of value in here. So I don't find any alcohol or anything? No, the alcohol is all long since gone. Oh. Any old gold you, you don't want 30-year-old ale anyway. Well, it depends on what kind yeah, of ale. it depends on what it is. Yeah. conditions. <laughs> If it's wine, then 30-year-old wine would be very good. Well, it is um, It is just about midnight, and uh, this seems like it's a pretty decent uh, place to stop, so I'm thinking that might be uh, the thing okay. to do. Okay, sounds good. Okay, so we'll pick up here next time. Um, in the meantime, you can all give yourself, um, let's see, 300 divided by 60 experience points uh, for fighting. All right. Them. Awesome. What does it take to get to level four? I don't know. It goes up quite a bit. Yeah, I think oh. it is. Oh, we got a ways to go then. Okay. Yeah, we have ways to go. I'm I'm only at eleven eighty five right now. At least we ended on a good note here. Mm -hmm. Yeah. After mm. that horrible fight. <laughs> <laughs> that was a discouraging start. Yeah. <laughs> I I think that the way that they designed it is you're supposed to see the fourteen zombies and not want to attack him. <laughs> yeah, I think but I think uh, in our, retrospect that seems pretty yeah. reasonable. <laughs> I think our party's a little um, overconfident. Yeah, but we're a little trigger happy. <laughs> yeah, I thought you were probably gonna try and kill him, so I didn't even bother to scale up the zombies. It's fourteen <laughs> for four players, and I didn't add the twenty-five percent extra. But oh, they bad. were supposed to be scaled up. Zombies? Yeah, normally if I scale up for five, then I would add extra. Oh, I see, I see. Well, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs>